Hello. Hello, hello, everyone. <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, I can't believe we're finally getting main story. Uh, it's very exciting. Uh, uh, I figured um, before we hop into our tale for today, we actually have two uh, afterwards for volume F. Um, they're not necessarily related to this. They're just kind of like the start of the next arc of our story, which is great. Oh, big hype. Welcome, 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 everybody. I'm so glad that y'all are able to come and hang out. It's going to be good. I am oh, I'm very excited for this. Um, yeah, but I figured um, what we would do is we'll go through the two afterwards um, from volume F, which are effectively the start of our second arc. And then we're going to hop into our story today. Oh, which is going to involve um, our, our wonderful friends with SRT and Valkyrie and the General Student Council. So look forward to it. It's going to be good. <laughs> also, my apologies that I don't have the next lore archive ready to go yet. Um, it is uh, combined with part of volume F. So it's been taking me a little bit of time just to put everything together. But hopefully, hopefully I will have that soon. <laughs> Fingers crossed. I'm trying to get everything all done with that. Um, but yeah, so my apologies. I don't have that done before the stream, but I figured this would still be fun to go through with you all, um, especially since I really want to play through this next part of the story. So it's going to be good. It's going to be good. <laughs> Thank you all. I'm glad. Uh, I appreciate your patience as I'm uh, putting that all together. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> And yeah, no worries for those of you who can't watch us live. Um, I'm sorry that I had to move it to a different day. I actually took the day off of work. Um, I ended up having a bunch of PTO I still needed to use. Uh, so I figured I'd use it today and that meant I would get up early today as opposed to Saturday. So yeah, um, thank you all for being understanding and for being flexible with that. Um, I know that normally I do this on the weekend proper. So yeah, it's going to be good. <sighs> Okay, okay, let's do this. Let's hop into the last bit of volume F, um, and then we're gonna hop into our main story today. <sighs> and yes, um, so it's a little unclear to me uh, when the next part of the story is gonna release. I think it's releasing next week. Um, and I'm gonna be real, that's kind of bad timing because it's it's Christmas is coming up next week. <laughs> So, uh, what we're gonna do is, um, if we don't end up playing through the next part of this, uh, next week, we will play through it the week after, and then we will have, uh, the event after that. So, it's all gonna work out. We're gonna play through everything on stream. Don't worry. <laughs> Just the way that things worked out, I was looking at it and I'm like, wait, oh no. Will the second part of this release during, uh, like the week before Christmas? Oh no. <laughs> Uh, I might be uh, taking some time off then. So yeah, we'll, we'll figure it out. This is going to be fine. <laughs> Tofu, what do you mean? It's not June yet. I know, right? <laughs> time just passes so fast. Oh my word. <sighs> anyway. All right, y'all. Let's do it. Let's hop into our afterwards. Oh God, it is on the 19th. Okay. <laughs> We'll figure it out. We'll make it work. If it's not going to happen next week, it will happen the week after. It will. We will still stream it. It will be fine. <laughs> it will all be okay. And thankfully, because the event will run for two weeks, if I don't do the event the first week that it's out, we'll just do it the second week that it's out. We'll stream both of them. So, <sighs> all right, y'all. Are you ready? Let's hop into our afterward, which we haven't actually watched on stream yet. And then we're going to hop into the next part of our SRT story. Let's go. Afterward. Number one. Oh! Oh, it's so nice to see Plana and to see Arona together. Oh my word. Hello, Sensei. How are you doing, Plana? I'm fine. Arona is taking good care of me. <laughs> Gotta have this with strawberry milk. <laughs> Though she's uh, still sleeping. <laughs> oh god, I love seeing 
think that the two of them are together. Oh, okay. Wake up, Arona. Sensei is here. If this isn't the time to be asleep. <laughs> Arona, if you don't get up, I'll poke you in the cheek. <laughs> no! God, sleepy Arona is just too precious. Precious daughters. Bed head. Mm, something keeps... Mm. No! What? Ah! <laughs> Good morning, Arona. It's been a little while since we've seen the two of you. Ooh! When did it become the morning? It's lunchtime now, Arona. You can't sleep in so late. It's basics. Ah! I'm supposed to be your role model! Waking up early is the first thing you need to do. Setting an example is after that. Uh, how'd it end up like this? It must be a lot of work, Plana. Thank you for looking after her. <laughs> it's okay. I'm starting to get used to looking out for Arona. It's starting to feel like I'm getting in trouble. But that's okay, because with Plana and I together, the Shatim chest will be able to do even more in the future. No, oh, I look forward to it, Arona. Positive. I will also aid, Sensei. I'm looking forward to it, Plana and Arona. Thank you both. Likewise, I look forward to it too, Yumi, Sensei. <laughs> yes, Sensei! Oh. <sighs> it's so nice to see that they're doing so well. Oh. Nighttime again in the Shatim chest. Mm. <laughs> Arona has been sleeping a lot lately. That's because I'm here. The Shatim chest is overloaded because of me. Oh, Plana, don't say that. It's okay. It's just, it takes a little getting used to with the two of you in the Shatim chest. <laughs> And I understand that the student council president has gone missing here as well. Oh. So the president disappeared in her time too. And the student council president is missing in this world as well. Well, <laughs> time to upgrade the Shatim chest. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, no, I didn't change my mic. I might sound a little bit congested. Um, I, I woke up today with a lot of um, phlegm, so my apologies. It's, it's definitely not the mic. It's just me. <laughs> if things sound congested, it's just me. <sighs> My apologies. <laughs> My apologies. <laughs> oh, God. Hi, Francis. <laughs> so, this is how the story ends. Not only did they defy my predictions by not being our main character, they returned the narrative to their desired timeline of course yes this may have seemed like the final story but it wasn't to deceive the audience the story and me but sensei don't assume that your miraculous interventions will always be possible the story must continue of course this is the transition to a new phase. Yes, this story ends here, but a new beginning must flourish. Yes, Gematria also needs a revolution for that purpose as well. 
Our old ally that was expelled, buried, and sealed away. Yes, I must find them. I hope you're excited, Black Suit. I shall finish what you started. Well... <laughs> That's not intimidating at all. I was just happy that, that they'd finally dealt with Beatrice, and now apparently we're gonna have someone new to deal with. That's great. That's absolutely great. <sighs> well, back to the Shatim chest. Hi, Arona. Calculation complete. Hypothesis confirmed. End verification. Oh, that's such a nice little picture of the two of them. <gasps> Look at them together. Look at Arona with... <laughs> She's got drool coming out of her mouth. <laughs> God, this is so precious. Please keep looking after her, Plana. I see. I get it now. I understand why Arona is so similar to me. A-R-O-N-A, -A, the OS system of the Shatim chest, but a different entity. They... We're here. That's why no one could find them. The student council president. <gasps> oh, snap! <laughs> wait! Wait, 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 wait! Wait! That... Ah! Game, you can't hit me with this. You can't hit me with this to be continued. Right as I'm about to hop into the rabbit story. <laughs> so this pretty much confirms... <gasps> Trailer! Oh, let's go! <laughs>
Yes, it's time to go down the rabbit hole with y'all. Oh my gosh. So yeah, this is picking up right after volume F. Um, so we're going to be hopping into the next part of SRT's story. Up to this point, we haven't really seen too much about the Fox Platoon. Um, they're the more senior group from SRT. So I am very excited. <laughs> I'm very sorry that y'all won't see some of the gameplay to get, but I promise, I promise. Uh, then some of the future streams we're going to do, I'm going to do a little bit gameplay stuff with y'all. Excuse me, I'm stumbling over my words here. Um, but yeah, it's it's going to be good. It's going to be good. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, let's do it, y'all. Let's hop into it. <sighs> let's go! The fox's dream! Oh, the events from the last SRT section. Oh, flashback time, everyone. Two years ago. Good evening, and welcome to the Chrono School of Journalism channel, your one true source for all the hottest news. We are currently standing directly in front of the Kaiser Industries' second ammo factory. This factory produces nearly a third of Kaiser Industries' total ammunition, and recently strange rumors have been circulating about this powerhouse. Allegedly, this second ammo factory is developing weapons of mass destruction in direct violation of General Student Council policies. However, Kaiser Industries is vehemently denying this, and the rumors remain unsubstantiated. But this story is nowhere near over yet. With the Valkyrie Police School's investigation stalling, another source tells us that the General Student Council President has dispatched a newly formed special investigation team to... Ah! Did, did you get that? There was a huge explosion! This is live! I repeat, this is live! We are investigating the cause of the explosion now. Could this be a side effect of their illegal weapons development? Man, Kaiser over here just developing weapons of mass destruction is a little concerning from two years ago? <coughs> what the hell, Togi? You didn't report the booby trap at the exit. The... Oh, oh, <laughs> yeah, uh, I was gonna tell you. Next time, tell us before we trigger the bomb. Kurumi sure is motivated, as usual. It happened after the operation was over and no one was injured. It's okay. We've spotted what appears to be several heavily armed students emerging from the dust. Could they be the rumored special response team recently established by the General Student Council President? Excuse me, hello? Maybe have a word, who are you? Oh snap, <gasps> look at them! <laughs> It seems the paparazzi's caught up to us. There's no time like the present, I guess. The president has been wanting to formally introduce SRT. D did I hear you say SRT? D does that mean the rumors are true? I'm, I'm switching from the megaphone here. <laughs> now that we're live on the scene. <laughs> Greetings, citizens of Kibotos. I'm Shichido Yukino, leader of the Fox Squad from the SRT Academy. The General Student Council president formed SRT and the Fox Squad to give Kivotos a means to more effectively fight against threats too great for any one district or the Valkyrie police to address. 
If you were to solve crime in the DU, does that also mean SRT Academy intends to eventually usurp the Valkyrie Police School? We could never hope to replace the invaluable work that Valkyrie does to protect the public. We are a specialized operations team trained to respond swiftly to criminals or situations that present an imminent threat to Kivotos' safety, just as you saw today. Speaking of today, what were you doing in the Kaiser's ammo factory? What was the cause of the explosion just now? Can you confirm if there really are weapons of mass destruction being developed here? Um, <laughs> well... I mean, uh, we didn't receive any embargo orders. I don't think there's any harm in telling you now that the operation's over. A few days ago, we received evidence from an anonymous source that a powerful bomb was being stored here at Kaiser Industries Ammo Factory in violation of the General Student Council's bylaws. Last year, Kaiser announced a development project called ANTIOCH, Antioch, undertaking the modification of old thermobaric grenades. In actuality, they were developing and storing thermobaric warheads for ballistic missiles here. Oh my god, Kaiser. <laughs> Good god. Our mission today was to neutralize those explosives, and I'm pleased to report our success. A thermobaric warhead? Just how much danger were the people of Kivotos in? It's a pre-production prototype, and we're still in the process of analyzing it. But based on our research so far, and simply the sheer size of the warhead, we estimate that Antioch's radius when detonated could span several kilometers. Oh my god! <laughs> what? Kaiser, what the hell were they building this is uh okay i'm glad that they got it at least they prevented that from uh being used on anything this uh, several kilometers and just your squad was enough to handle something so explosive i mean wouldn't it have required an entire unit with tons of protective gear with a bomb that dangerous, it doesn't matter how much infantry you throw at it. What she said, it's exactly stuff like this that SRT's around for. SRT's made of small teams of elites training in securing or neutralizing targets before they even know what's happening, like we did in this operation. And we're pretty good at it. It took us less than three minutes to secure the warhead after infiltrating the building. Oh my god. That's some mad efficient, um... <laughs> Only three minutes? Good god. Two minutes and 45 seconds to be exact. It would have been two minutes and 30 seconds had we not had to handle the unexpected engagement at the entrance. Ah, unexpected engagement. <laughs> Do you mean if it wasn't for Kurumi accidentally throwing a smoke grenade instead of a flash bomb toward Point Delta? Accident? The guards were wearing visors for flash protection. I made a tactical decision to close the distance with a smoke grenade and incapacitate them. And that wouldn't have been necessary if you had taken out the guard as detailed by the operation plans. Oh, <laughs> well, sometimes I forget to count the number of rounds I have loaded. It's an adorable little mistake that's very common for snipers to make. <laughs> uh, how can we count all those teensy weensy enemies? <laughs> Don't act cute to distract from your mistakes. Uh, now, now, <laughs> uh, Togi, Kurumi, let's not fight in front of the cameras. <laughs> God. 
it to conclude, this operation was a success thanks to the discreet and timely manner in which we were able to execute our plan. The bomb is secured and the suspect was apprehended. We were also able to identify the names of several executives of Kaiser Industries, as well as some members of the defense office listed on classified documents discovered in the factory. It appears these executives accepted bribes in advance of the launch of the Antioch project in exchange for forging safety reports for the ammunition factory. Isn't the defense office an agency of the General Student Council responsible for policing Kivotos? So ultimately, aren't you revealing holes in the General Student Council security? Is it okay for SRT, which operates under the direct order of the president, to reveal information like this? You misunderstand. Justice is the path to preserving truth. And no matter the obstacle, SRT's justice never wavers. Dang. Miyako also said something like that. Oh, Yukino. Oh, good morning, Yukino. M morning? What time is it? 0315, Kivota Standard Time. We have time until the next shift gets here. Rest more while you can. I'm fine. Thank you for keeping watch. Were you having a nice stream? Mm, what makes you say that? I thought I detected the barest hint of a smile in your sleep. <laughs> it was more like a nightmare. Oh! The flashback was Yukino's dream. The fact that she sees that as a nightmare is a little concerning, though. A bittersweet memory that echoes in my mind. Ah, that I understand. Ugh. Fox 4, status. Now I can use the megaphone. <laughs> Fox 4 here. The General Student Council is still snoozing. The General Student Council hasn't recovered from the Apocalypse Towers. <laughs> uh, they're still in turmoil. Acting General Student Council President Rin has it the worst. She's being criticized left and right for her seeming absence during the crisis. And uh, because of that, no one wants to pass her DU restoration policy. They're at a total standstill. I guess that means the plan's working. If we hadn't attacked Sanctum Tower right before SRT closed and took out all of Rin's supporters, she wouldn't be facing the lion's den right now. No, oh, that's great. Just confirming that the Fox Platoon was uh, taking out Rin's supporters. Always, always fantastic to hear. <sighs> And what about the Board of Administration? Boring. The culture and medical officers still haven't recovered from injuries sustained during the raid. <laughs> Senior managers are still quietly substituting for them. It's not affecting their day-to-day -day tasks, but the Board of Administration doesn't have any kind of official authority at the helm right now. That's good. Alert me immediately if there are any changes. Uh, squad lead, I, I mean, Fox One. But what if, what if the chiefs do recover and come back to the board? Wouldn't it just be over for Kaya? 
I gave you the emergency protocols to review, Fox 4. At any given time, the Chief of Defense Kaya must always hold the majority support of the Board of Administration over Chief Officer Rin. Oh, God! <laughs> so, yeah, in the first SRT section, um, it was revealed that the Fox platoon had attacked the General Student Council, and there were a lot of the uh, very high-ranking members of the General Student Council who were uh, in the hospital as a result of that. And now we're finding out that that was because uh, they were intentionally targeting Rin supporters so that um, Kaya could have a majority of people who would be uh, unfriendly to Rin. No, oh, that's fun. That's fun. Should Chief Officer Rin's supporters attempt to return to the board, the Fox Squad is authorized to use any means necessary to sufficiently incapacitate them for the foreseeable future. <laughs> oh, that's fun. Can you imagine being a general counsel officer? You've just recovered from the hospital and you try to come back and now the Fox platoon is just ready to come after them. Alrighty then. Fox 4, out. <sighs> Fox 3, status. Fox 3 reporting. We detonated the EMP bomb at the railroad vehicle base in Kitayama District and disabled the operation management system. Their key electric equipment <laughs> their key electronic equipment has all been sabotaged. Immediate recovery of the EMP bomb was successful, so the cause of the malfunction will be impossible to trace. Has the media picked up on it? How is the coverage? The General Student Council hasn't made an official statement, likely because they can't identify the cause, so the public has been assuming it was an accident on the Council's part. The Director of Transportation and Acting General Student Council Rin have been taking the brunt of the blame. <laughs> they won't be able to escape the media scrutiny for a while. Wait a second. I'm pretty sure the director of transportation is Momoka. Ugh. This is part of Kaya's plan too, to make sure that w whatever supporters Rin still has left are put in a bad position. Oh God. Okay. Good God. Copy that. Fox 3, return to HQ immediately. Uh, Fox 1, um, I have a question. <laughs> Do you think this is, is this justice? During the operation, we encountered a citizen unable to reach the hospital and receive care because the trains were down. <laughs> if we carry on with this kind of... Did, the, did that citizen interfere with your operation in any way? No, no, they did not. Ugh, understood. Fox 3, returning to HQ now. Yukino, uh, come now. I don't need your quippy remarks right now, Nico. Uh, then I won't quip. I'll follow you into hell for the revival of SRT, but what we're doing right now, we're harming innocent civilians. Karumi wasn't wrong. This isn't the justice that SRT fights for. Don't you think so? I abandoned those kinds of questions when we took on this operation. I suggest you do the same. SRT has always been a weapon. Wherever the user decides to point that weapon and shoot it is both their privilege and responsibility. No one wants a weapon with its own free will, with an opinion. Morality. 
ethics. Those concepts are the curse the user bears. Oh, that's, yeah, uh, it's a pretty horrible way to live. Um, oh my God, what happened to y'all? You were so full of hope and ready to help the city only two years prior, dear God. If you can't accept your role, leave. I, the Fox Squad, will persevere. Ugh. Fox 2, out. Oh God. Right. Our last order of business. We'll need to make contact with the Rabbit Squad. No, you all stay away from my precious rabbit girls. No, <laughs> but you're already attacking Rin and her supporters. The rabbit squad. You're gonna go see the little ones. Fox three, Fox four. Please don't speak out of turn. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I get excited at the prospect of a good time. I want to see the underclassmen. Too, though. Uh, okay, maybe this isn't gonna be the type of meeting I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> maybe it'll be okay. They all seem excited. Uh, maybe this will be okay. We've handled all our urgent missions. Why don't we have a group bonding activity? When's the last time we were all together? Fox 3 and 4 fulfilled all their orders already. 4 won't even have to move until after D-Day. D-Day is concerning. What she said, the rabbits haven't even had an initiation ceremony yet, you know. We would be bereft of SRT tradition if we didn't participate in at least a little hazing. <gasps> Excuse me! No, it, how, no, don't you dare haze those precious girls. <laughs> oi! Oi! None of this! No hazing! Oi! <laughs> I'll have to get started now if I want to have enough Inari Zushi for everyone. Bless you, Nico. <laughs> the mom of the group. Making sure that everyone's gonna have tasty stuff at least. Can you all not haze the precious rabbit girls? Okay, okay, convincing the underclassmen won't be easy, so it'll be better to show a united front anyways. Fox 3 and Fox 4 return to HQ and begin preparations for our welcome party. Roger. It's been quite some time, so let's make sure it's a warm welcome. Fox Platoon? <laughs> what are you doing, Fox Squad? I don't know that I'm on board with your... Oh, God. So much changed for them so quickly. It's kind of sad to see the difference between them from two years ago and now. And you can see the doubt that they're all having. But Yukino is just kind of barreling headfirst into this. Good God. A rabbit's dream. Oh. The, the recording from two years ago. The General Student Council President formed SRT in the Fox Squad to give Kivotos a means to more effectively fight against. SRTs made of small teams of elites. Justice is the path to preserving truth. Oh, Miyako. No matter the obstacle, SRT's justice never wavers. Oh. Oh my god. That's actually a nice detail. If you look in the background, there's a Valkyrie symbol that's over here. Oh my god, wait, is this from the past too? Oh. Was Miyako going to be part of Valkyrie? And then she ended up becoming part of SRT? Oh. The seniors seemed to glow through the TV screen. 
They were the very embodiment of SRT's ideals. We strove for the impossible standards that they set. Their rigid discipline never swayed, no matter the situation. We watched as criminals fell in front of them, one by one. And no matter how daunting their mission, not even a flicker of fear ever seemed to cross their faces. Their undeviating justice, it was impossible not to admire. The seniors, they were our dream and one day meant to be our future. To us, moving forward just meant chasing their shadows. But one day, the sun disappeared and there was nothing left to chase. One day, we became the SRT. Miyako, you're you're awake. Good morning, Miu. It's a uh, it's still early. I I don't think breakfast is done. You stayed out late last night on patrol. Do do you want to rest more? Thank you, but I've slept enough. No. Oh. <sighs> Good to see you, SRT. It's good to see the rabbit girls again. I don't want to waste a nice day like this. I'm sure even the laundry's dried by now. Are Moe and Saki around? I uh, I I think they'll be back soon. They they left early to go get food. Y'all, come and check this out. I did a little extra scouting on my way back, and I happened on this huge mushroom colony. L look at all the ones I picked! <laughs> Aren't they big? <laughs> oh, Saki. Nice to see them all so cheerful, oh my god. With this many, we could have a mushroom buffet. <laughs> I've got a surprise for us too. Ta-da! Fresh eggs. I got it from one of the stores on our usual route. It was thanks for helping them out with some pest control. <laughs> I may or may not have just been testing out a new smoke bomb in what I thought was a deserted alley, though. God damn it, Moe. Of course. <laughs> At least you benefited from it this time. <laughs> as long as it helped a citizen in need. Wow, so much fresh food. Great work, both of you. It looks like we'll have a complete breakfast today. Let me dig up the canned bread from our supplies too. <laughs> you know you can count on me to get the fire going. Oh God, Moe, please don't blow anything up. I'll start the preparations. <laughs> mushrooms, mushrooms. I'm off to the supplies tent. Let me know if you need help with anything. Yeah, I know, I was kind of surprised that um, apparently you can can bread. <laughs> These poor girls eating bread out of a can. Um, I, I can help with supplies. A breakfast of eggs, bread, and sautéed mushrooms. Oh, I never thought we'd ever experience luxury like this again. If only I could eat like this every day. Seriously, it's the perfect meal for a perfect day. Do you feel that breeze? With this amazing weather and yummy food, I mean, who wouldn't want to stick around here forever, right? <laughs> uh, 
Do you think maybe we've gotten a little too used to being homeless? <laughs> no denying it. Uh, these days we're more about making life better than upholding justice. SRT is supposed to be the cream of the crop. We hail from the best school in all of Kivotos. We're, we're second to none in equipment, training. I, I mean, we, we were, at least. Enough of the gloomy stuff. We've got all this delicious food we can possibly ask for. Who wants to spoil their appetite with sad talk? <laughs> right, <laughs> right. Uh, let's not look a gift horse in the mouth. Uh, Things have been going great. Oh god. Hey there, rabbit squad! <laughs> I hope I didn't show up at a bad time. How are you all doing? Ah, Yumi-sensei. Who? Oh, <laughs> it's just you, sensei. Hi! I was wondering who that vaguely familiar person was. <laughs> so glad that you remember me, Saki. We've been through so much together. But it's fine. That's fine. Are you happy to see me, Saki? <laughs> the joys of being a teacher. <laughs> but, sh shut up! There's no way a student would ever be happy to see their teacher anywhere outside of school. <laughs> uh... oh, Saki. <laughs> Good morning, Sensei. Don't mind the ruckus. You didn't call ahead before coming over. Is it an urgent matter? Did we get you in trouble with someone again? Oh, bless you, Miyako. <laughs> God, making sure that we're doing okay, that we don't have um, any trouble that we've fallen into. No, no, not at all. It's the opposite, actually. I just wanted to thank you for your support with the recent events. The recent events? Ah, it still feels like it just happened yesterday. Ah, yes. <laughs> the chroma. Yes. Yeah, no, thank you all for your help with that. Um. It, we, we needed all of the help that we could get. Y'all did, did a great job there. I thought Kivotos was a goner for real that time. Even I was scared. <laughs> Imagine that. Me, scared of some buildings blowing up. It, it was way more than some buildings. I, I just wanted to run and hide as soon as the sky turned red, but... But enemies were appearing everywhere. And uh, more importantly, all my friends were fighting for Kivotos. You're right. So many students came together to protect Kivotos. I'm proud of you all. You all did so good. Oh! And this was when uh, Saki and Miyako came in to save us from Kaiser Corporation. Before the pillars had even descended. Greatly appreciated. We desperately needed the help. Rabbit Squad responding to Sensei's request for support. Man, thinking back on all of that, who knows what would have happened if you didn't save me. None of it would have been possible without you all. You all did so good. Thank you. We don't expect thanks for completing our duty. Uh, SRT fights to protect the citizens. <laughs> you think we want it? We went to help you. We would have been there no matter what. <laughs> I just want to make Chalet's building go kaboom! <laughs> I'm glad uh, that all of our priorities were in order. Even SRT agents deserve recognition sometimes. Even you, Moe. Thank you for not completely leveling Shale. <laughs> I appreciate it. So, as thank you, I brought you a hot meal. <laughs> We've actually adapted to this new lifestyle perfectly. We have more than enough food, actually. 
We'll take your kind thoughts as gratitude instead, and you can enjoy your hot meal. Exactly what Saki said. Our reward is knowing we've kept the citizens safe. In fact, if you're still up for breakfast, why not join us? We've got loads of eggs and mushrooms. I even found some shimeji mushrooms today, which are pretty rare around here. They're so delicious that there's a saying, Matsutake for the scent, but shimeji for the taste. God, that makes me so hungry. Um, well, uh, when you put it like that, if you insist, I would, I would be honored. I would be honored to have that. Thank you. Uh, and I guess I'll just... I guess I'll just put these prime beef sirloin steaks away. <laughs> but Sensei, the mushrooms! The mushrooms! Can I have mushrooms and steak? <laughs> uh, um, I, 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 I actually uh, didn't get to finish what I was saying. Y yes, yes, um, naturally there is uh, no greater reward than serving the public. <laughs> However, isn't that the super expensive kind of meat? Even before SRT closed, uh, I'd never eaten something so decadent. I mean, if you don't want it, I guess I'll just make some ramen, huh? Because what else am I going to do with all this extra meat? What did you just say? <laughs> you want to eat fatty steak sirloin and ramen? Are you an idiot? A stupid person? Do you have so much money you can just boil it away in a pot of water? <laughs> but it's too much to grill and eat by myself. Shali doesn't have a fire pit. I can't grill it. Well, um, if you're in that much of a pickle. The, uh, we we have a fire pit. I guess we could help you out with eating all of it. <laughs> My saviors. Let's eat together then. <laughs> okay. We'll need some sort of mesh to use as a grill. Uh, I'll handle that. I'll uh, I'll get extra plates. <laughs> So, uh, do, do we have any sides to go with the meat? Maybe some potatoes or onions? Get these dumb old mushrooms out of the way. <laughs> oi, oi, oi! I'll take the mushrooms if you're not gonna have them. What happened to so rare shimeji for taste? What the heck is a shimeji? We got prime beef sirloin to worry about. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity. <laughs> Focus, Moe. We need the fire going stat. Achieving the perfect grilling temperature is an essential part of the process. I, I. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, it would have been totally fine to have eggs and mushrooms with the steak. Oh my god, this sounds fantastic. Oh my god. I'm so. Oh. It's so nice to see that the rabbit squad is doing good. That's wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. <laughs> Always uh, winning our way to their their hearts through their stomach. <laughs> winning their trust in there. <laughs> Making sure that they are rewarded for everything that they did. Oh, God. It's ready. Grilled to perfection. Then... Without further ado, thank you for the meal. <laughs> Eat the doggy moss. Oh God, this all sounds so good. Oh, 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 it beats my wildest dreams. The melt in your mouth texture from all that marbling and that amazing rich flavor only top-notch beef can bring. It makes every other piece of beef I've eaten seem fake. They just pale in comparison. Yummy. So, so yummy. It's, it's so soft. It's, it's melting in my mouth like pudding. No, oh God, don't say that. That's making me so hungry. <laughs> I can't remember the last time we've indulged in something like this. I, 
almost feel guilty. <laughs> there is more than enough meat, so please help yourselves. The sensei, even if it's to thank us, isn't this a bit much? <laughs> this must have been really expensive. Yeah, I'm a little suspicious. <laughs> this reward seemed to outrank the deed here. Are you all kidding me? <laughs> you all saved my life, what? <laughs> um, I feel like I should be doing more, honestly. Is this beef a part of one of your evil schemes? Excuse- <laughs> No? You- You tried to lure us in with d delicious food. This must be the honey trap I've heard of before. No, Miu! What have you been reading? <laughs> Miu! Good God. Good God. <laughs> it is not! And that is not what honey trap means at all. I have no ulterior motives. You all need to learn to accept gifts. Good God. <laughs> You know what? I don't care if it's a trap. This is a rare opportunity to stuff ourselves with the highest quality beef imaginable. We wouldn't have even been able to experience this at SRT. <laughs> Thank you, Saki. Dear God. Although I have had the experience of filling my stomach with cheap canned pork back at SRT. Yum. Ugh. Can you not ruin the best meal of my life with the thought of canned pork? We did eat a lot of pork, didn't we? All our field rations had pork in one way or another. <laughs> yeah, no, that doesn't sound good. I remember one time our field training went longer than we planned and we had to survive on canned pork for over three days. <laughs> Ugh. That slimy taste of canned pork is definitely something I could have done without remembering. Thanks, Miyako. Yeah, spam is a bit of a an acquired taste. <laughs> it can be good, but if you are not accustomed to it, it is um it is uh <laughs> not always the best. If you dress it up, if you grill it, it is okay. But um uh you know, it could be canned pork belly as well. I suspect it might be spam. <laughs> Either way, slightly acquired taste. <laughs> I, I, I never realized. Why is it all pork? Why, why couldn't we have corned beef or, or some tuna at least? It's just cost efficient, duh. Higher ups only see numbers, you know? They say it in our textbooks. When it comes to supplies, quantity over quality, you can't feed an army if you consider comfort or indulgences. <laughs> That's true, but oh god, I still feel bad for y'all. I hope that you were eating okay. That's why canned pork has been a go-to combat ration for so long. It's made from preserved meat, making it cost-effective with a lengthy shelf life. Even regular academies caught wind and started using them for school lunches. At one point, the cafeterias were using so much of it that some Trinity novelist tried to protest by swapping out all mentions of any food in their work with canned pork instead and distributing it all over campus. <laughs> Oh, wow, thanks so much. I definitely needed to know that. <laughs> Not N E R D. <laughs> Sh shut up, you maniac arsonist. Speaking of, didn't that Trinity novelist have an episode in their work where a group of knights on a quest for the Holy Grail ended up battling a wild rabbit? <gasps> Let's go. <laughs> I low-key adore that the writers of this game love Monty Python and the Holy Grail. For those of you who are not familiar, Monty Python and the Holy Grail is a legendary piece of media. Absolutely legendary. And in it, um, relatively near the beginning of it, um, there is a fluffy white rabbit that they end up running across. The rabbit of Kerbinog. <laughs> And the rabbit is a murder rabbit. It goes and it, it attacks and kills things on sight. So, 
I love that in this world, there's a Trinity novelist who is just low-key Monty Python. <laughs> Absolutely fantastic. I've actually been thinking of doing a watch along for that in um, January. It seems like good timing for those of you who haven't seen it before. <laughs> oh god, I love that this is canon. Absolutely wonderful. I remember something along those lines, but what about it? Way back when, I asked the seniors about our name sometime around when the Rabbit Squad came to be. I was wondering why we had been named after a cute, harmless animal. SRT was supposed to be the symbol of discipline and justice, not fuzzy paws and, fluff and floppy ears. She didn't answer in the way I expected at all. Instead, she recited a quote from that novel. The rabbit is not to be underestimated for its docile and adorable appearance. Proud and territorial, the rabbit becomes a fearsome beast that can fend off even brave knights when provoked. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! It's actually canon. Even the general council and, and the SRT seniors are a fan of, of this Trinity My Monty Python novel. <laughs> Incredible! Oh my god, I love that they're just canonically the murder rabbits. That's absolutely amazing. <laughs> I remember that part. The knights searching for the Holy Grail try to enter a cave guarded by a rabbit, <laughs> and it rips out their throats. And that's why we learned in our tactics and strategy classes to never underestimate an opponent from how they look. Well, don't leave us on a cliffhanger. Does the rabbit beat up all the knights and they give up and go home? That, um, the knights throw a grenade at the rabbit, and it ends up in little bits. <laughs> well, at least it's the thought that counts, right? You're the murder rabbits. We're just gonna pretend like no one's got a grenade that can... <laughs> oh, man. Be because no rabbit is strong enough to fight guns or grenades or bombs or bad guys. We're, we're gonna end up blown up like the rabbit of the story. <laughs> hey, the ending to some stupid book they made us read in school has nothing to do with this. The only thing you should be concerning yourself with right now is this sumptuous beef. <laughs> This is a little out of the blue, Sensei, but it's been on my mind recently. I was wondering if any sensitive documents disappeared during Kaiser's occupation of Shale. I was worried because of the amount of data on the General Student Council that's stored in the Shale building. Um... That's an interesting question, Miyako. There wasn't anything in particular that stood out. Uh, but to be fair, we didn't do a thorough search. The facilities were so trashed. <laughs> now that you're saying it, maybe I should double check. I can do it. <laughs> Give me a sec. Oh god. Moe is low-key terrifying. She's she's good with like high explosives. She can fly a helicopter and she's also a hacker. Like, I'm very glad that Moe is on our side. <laughs> Check. From here? How? M Moe, did you give Kaiser intel for more weapons? Hey, that was one time, okay? <laughs> That's not what I'm doing. I just have to slip into Shale's server and pull the surveillance footage. We can check the entrances to see who is there and what they took. 
Kaiser's occupation of the building after Sensei's abduction was pretty short-lived. We just have to narrow down our search to the exits during that time frame and make sure nothing important was taken. Huh. A surprisingly good idea from Moe. <laughs> are, are you okay? Did eating such nice food make you go crazy? <sighs> Shut up. I'll blow you up. Ugh, ignoring the muscle head, I should be able to get into the cloud server and snag the CCTV footage pretty easily. <laughs> yep, there it is. Surveillance footage from the day of the attack. Ah, uh, uh, this is around when we retook the building. The guys in the helmets were Kaiser's super elite <laughs> special op forces? SOAP or whatever, right? They had impressive weapons, but they sure didn't know how to use them. It was only as easy as it was because of Miu's sniping. Without her, we would have had to take damage in a full frontal assault. R really? Uh, but, but, but I couldn't have done it without Saki taking point and r r relaying their locations. M Miyako, too. <laughs> That's what a squad is for. That was a fun operation. We're starting to sound like old women reminiscing on our glory days. Stop gabbing and help me check this footage to see if any Kaiser soldiers took anything with them. Well, I guess we wouldn't find anything here. <laughs> Let me go back a little bit. Yeah, I was gonna say, <laughs> looking at the footage from when you raided the building, you probably won't find anything. Who are these soldiers? Those masks and uniforms don't look like Kaiser. Oh, that's concerning. Uh. R right there. It looks like they're bringing something out of the basement. Do, do you see your, their hands? They weren't holding that when they went in. Can you tell what it is? Not really. This video quality sucks and they're moving fast. Way too fast, actually. No wasted movement, deft handling of advanced weaponry. Oh no. I have a bad feeling about who this is. <laughs> Saki, you see it too, right? The video is grainy, but I'd recognize that equipment anywhere. All right, all right, doom and gloom over there. Would you like to share with the class? You're right that those soldiers don't look like Kaiser. That's SRT equipment they're using. But but we have all of SRT's remaining equipment. Uh, the leader's laser pointer. It's a dual compound one with both infrared and visible light capabilities. It's super pricey and pretty much useless without night vision gear. So they've only ever really been made for SRT students. And that radio they're using to communicate? I can't be certain, but it looks like SRT's. All of SRT's equipment is especially designed to meet our needs, and they definitely don't look anything like Kaiser's communication technologies. Are, are you serious? But how could they have gotten their hands on them? Huh? Did, did you say something? Uh, n n no, n n not at all. Uh, I, I got a little excited talking about tactics. <laughs> you know how it is. I, I know it's not in your nature, Moe, but you have to be quiet. Sensei can't know until we figure out what's going on here. You're, you're right. Uh, sorry. It's just so unbelievable. I, I think so, too. I, I don't know how random people would be able to get SRT's equipment like that. There's only two ways I can think of. First, they raided an SRT squatter base and looted the equipment. The only other way would be if an SRT student provided them. 
<sighs> That's what's unbelievable. No SRT student would be stupid enough to hand over equipment to PMC soldiers. <laughs> We're elite agents and not some brutish greedy. <sighs> I actually was just about to say, Moe, are you sure that you can say that? Moe uh, was one of Kaiser's VIP clients for a bit. <laughs> and here it is, her flashback. People have been bartering for things they want since before we could talk. And so, easy peasy lemon squeezy, we'll trade off our valuable items for new and wonderful incendiaries and weapons. <gasps> oh! Oh no, that was when their camp got flooded. <gasps> All of their equipment, because they, they needed to afford new equipment, they sold everything off. <laughs> uh, whoops. Ah. Ah. Uh, it, um, seems we may have been the stupid SRT students. We sold off some non-essential equipment to recoup our losses when the camp was flooded. Do you remember those arms stealers? They had big masks on so we couldn't see their faces. So you're telling me we, the rabbit squad, are the ones who supplied Shally's invaders with weapons? And here we are gorging ourselves on high quality meat given to us to thank us for fighting off said invaders. <laughs> Is everyone full? Are you sure you don't want more? Stop talking and come eat. There's still so much left. Um, we're, well, uh, oh, jeez. Oh, I'm, uh, I'm so full. Is, I think this is what they call a food baby. <laughs> oh, your stomach is so full. M me, me too. Uh, yeah, uh, the, the the fullest I've ever been. Whoa, I suddenly remembered something super urgent I have to take care of today. <laughs> uh, right now. What could be so urgent so suddenly? Do you need to use the bathroom? It's okay. You all don't have to feel weird about saying you have to go use the bathroom. Ugh. No, you have no filter when you talk, Sensei. <laughs> I'm just teasing. I'll save the rest of the meat for you at Chale then, if you all are too full right now. Thank you, Sensei. Okay, y'all are acting a little weird, but um, just let me know if you need anything. Are, are we not gonna tell Sensei about selling weapons to the bad guys? I feel bad. If not for us, Sensei wouldn't have gone through all that stuff. I feel guilty as well, Miu. And we will tell Sensei and apologize later. But first, we need to apprehend the culprits. Miyako's right. If we go to Sensei now, all we're doing is bringing them another problem. They have enough on their plate as it is, dealing with the restoration project and everything else. The last thing Sensei needs is another thing to worry about, especially because of something that uh, we did. Yes, we'll find the culprits, retrieve the stolen goods, and then give Sensei a proper apology. To start, I'll need your help, Moe. We need to collect information, anything you can, on where the weapons went after we sold them. It might take a bit, but it's doable. If I trace the unique key values embedded in the electronics, I'll hopefully be able to trace their path. For the rest of you, please begin routine checks of all of your gear quickly so we're prepared to leave as soon as Moe has what we need. I won't let those arms dealers sully SRT's equipment with their injustices any longer. I wish they would tell me that they were going on a dangerous mission. I can help. I can I can make sure we've got backup. It's okay. Um hey everyone. I I know you said you're full, but I forgot about the extra pork. Uh, hello? <laughs> what what is happening? What is this? No, go. Ah! 
Moo Moo Player. <laughs> Moo Moo Player, excuse me. Excuse me. Oh my God, that's only ever happened on my phone before. <laughs> Moe is hacking us. <laughs> what? What? Okay, give me a second, y'all. I'm gonna turn. I'm gonna turn this BGM on for you while I fix this. What? Why? That is the first time that has ever ever happened. There's a high usage of RAM. God, let me check my stuff. I don't think I'm doing that much. I'm on a pretty beefy PC. <laughs> Yumi got the cheat engine in the background. Shame. <laughs> hey, listen, I actually don't play any um, other mobile games on this emulator. <laughs> I just do Blue Archive here. Okay, um, well, uh, suspense. <laughs> suspense for a little bit. I guess, I guess I will close um, some of my Chrome tabs, I guess. Okay. I'm not sure if that'll help, but let's, let's, let's go back to this. Okay. Well, um, <laughs> give me a minute and I'll bring this back up again. I guess this is a good time to have a drink too. Everyone, it's a good hydration break. <laughs> well, I'm bringing the game back online. What on earth? This is wild. I have never, ever had this happen. Okay, sounds good. I'll I'll reset the <laughs> to reset the emulator. Oh my god. Okay, well, it's the first time for everything, I guess. <laughs> my PC isn't beefy enough. <sighs> okay, well, come on, come on, Moo Moo player. There you go. Good emulator. <laughs> Yeah, so far, um, I'm a little, I'm a little concerned. I'm actually curious if it is Kaiser that was infiltrating Shali, because I'm pretty sure at the very end of volume F, Kaya had instructed the Fox platoon to grab some stuff from Shali. So I wouldn't be surprised if it was them doing stuff, but I also uh, wouldn't put it past Kaiser to be doing things. So I don't know. I'm a little intimidated with what's going to happen. <laughs> Oh god. But yeah, um I really wish the the rabbit squad would tell me what uh what they were doing cuz I feel like it's a little concerning they're going to try and go off on their own. <sighs> Dear god. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Both of them are in cahoots, so it wouldn't be unreasonable for Kaiser and for um the fox squad to be working together on this. <sighs> Yeah, Kaya is, um, very questionable at this point. She's been trying to, like, take over things for a little while, so. Oh, God. Oh, my word. Blue Archive. It's taken a while to boot back up again. Come on, now. Hmm. Maybe I'll have to put you all in waiting for a little bit while I get this up and running again. <laughs> Okay, all right, y'all. I'm gonna put you on the Be Right Back screen. So hang out for just a minute and I'm gonna make sure that the game is back up and running again. Okay, I'll see you all shortly. Make sure to get some drinks while we're waiting.
Okay, y'all. I have a question. I have, I have something I would like you all to go and check for me. Could you all go either however you play Blue Archive, whether it's on an emulator or whether it's on your phone, and you all check if you can get into the game? <laughs> I'm testing this on my phone and it won't let me get in. Um, it's just permanently on the resetting the game data screen. Uh, I'm wondering if there's some sort of server problem. That would explain why it crashed. <laughs> uh, that would be wild. Um, that has never happened during a live stream. So thank you. Thank you all. Thank you for checking. Yeah, I'm stuck on the loading screen. I can't actually get into the game. It just has like, uh, loading for me. Okay. Okay. That, that is a... Uh... Yeah, I'm on the, um, God, what is it? Like the North American server. Um, so I'm curious, some of you, if y'all are able to get in, then uh, <laughs> maybe I just need to give it more time, but maybe that's what happened. Oh my God. Oh God. Okay, thank you all for, for checking just to see. <laughs> they banned me for hoarding all the BA merch. <laughs> Thank you all for checking. Okay. Okay. You have to reset the game cache. I have that problem before as well. Be careful of not removing the game data itself or it'll delete everything. Okay. <sighs> okay. Okay. Ugh. I guess I'll reset. The weird thing for me is just the fact that it's not just Moo Moo Player that's having the problem, it's my phone as well. Like, I, I pulled it up on an entirely separate device, <laughs> which is a little problematic. Okay, okay, so it's just me. That's not, that's not great. Okay, well, we're gonna try to, <laughs> gonna try this again, I guess. Uh, <laughs> what if Kaya did this? <laughs> uh. Okay, all right. How do I actually go and reset my cache for this? Because if I can do that, then that would be perfect. Um, I can try this through Moo Moo Player. Yeah, no, I was gonna say, it's definitely not my internet, because um, y'all can hear me just fine, which is good. <laughs> so that's good to hear. Ugh. How do I? Okay, let's try. On Moo Moo Player, going to. <laughs> Is this pre recorded? <laughs> you know, I've actually had that pop up before the illegal program thing, and all I've done before is just like. I just quit the app and then just reopened it. It was fine. Yeah, no, I don't really want the stream to be over. Um, I'm going to figure this out. We're going to try and figure this out. I'm going to force stop this on Moo Moo Player. Try that. Let's go back. Let's restart this. Yes. Okay. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Let's just boot up Monster Hunter. <laughs> and man, maybe we did get hacked by Maki. I don't even know. At this point, I do suspect Moe is doing something. She's trying to help out, but unfortunately, it's just not. It's just not working. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, I'm gonna restart this. And we're gonna see. <sighs> yes, please. Arona, Plana, if this is you doing this, <laughs> I'm gonna need the two of you to stop for just a hot minute. <laughs> Man, I'm sorry, y'all. Thank you for waiting while I'm messing with this. I'm very surprised that this happened. But I guess if I figure out how to fix this, then like, if this ever happens again in the future, we'll know what to do. <sighs> Ugh. Yeah, what I'll do for now is I'll put you all on the Be Right Back screen. Thank you all for checking, just to, to make sure it wasn't a server problem. I'll go quickly look up some stuff about how to deal with the illegal program pop-up. Um, and then, yeah, I'll do some stuff. Uh, so it might be like a little bit, it might be like five to ten minutes while I'm getting this figured out. Um, but yeah, uh, we'll give it a shot. 
<laughs> we'll try it out. We're gonna finish this story, damn it! I've been waiting for so long for this! <sighs> okay, anyway, go enjoy yourselves. Definitely don't plot to capture any snacks. <laughs> I'll see you all shortly. Thank you for your patience. Okay, y'all, hang in there. I'm gonna try restarting my router. <laughs> the stream will go dead briefly, but hang in there, okay? We're gonna try this. I'm reading through the Reddit uh, thread on this issue, so we're gonna try that first. Hang in there.
Thank you all for waiting. I got it to work. <laughs> ah! Okay, that took a while. Um, I had to completely reset the router and then it took a very long time for it to register. I almost just downloaded a, <laughs> a different emulator just to try and get it to work. Oh my God. Also now my chat is broken. I can see you all on screen at least. Okay. Oh God. Why has Moe done this to me? Moe was supposed to, supposed to hack, um, <laughs> Moe was supposed to hack something else, not my computer, this is unacceptable. So anyway, um, for anyone who has this problem, if you run into this where, um, uh, you, like, can't get back into the game, um, those of you who suggested, like, doing something with my internet connection, it seems like that did it. I just reset the router, so... I don't know why that worked, if I'm being totally real. Unfortunately, it just took a really long time for the emulator to come back online. I got it working on my phone really quick, but I I was trying not to have um, <laughs> a repeat of uh, uh, wide Yuka specifically because I don't have that program installed quite yet. So I will make sure that's ready in the future just in case this happens again. But thank you all for your patience. I'm sorry. When I timestamp this later, I'll make sure to have the this entire section timestamp so folks can skip right past it so <laughs> wide moe <away. laughs> but yes thank you all for that tip um i went and looked some stuff up really quick on the uh like reddit um technical issues mega thread and some folks had said that worked for them too so i was like okay okay let's do it let's do it so okay <laughs> i'm glad that y'all want a repeat of wide yuka <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for waiting. Let me, let me go. Uh, let's hope there are no other issues. God, I'm happy that, you know, it's not ideal that this happened, but I would have been pretty devastated if this had happened during volume F because those chapters were so long. Um, part of the reason I had to have y'all wait for a little while longer is that I had to, um, like speed back through the story. These chapters are pretty lengthy, so I'm glad y'all weren't plotting. That's good. <laughs> I actually, yeah, I can only see what you all have sent here. So I think you're safe. Whatever you were plotting when my internet was down. <laughs> Y'all are fine. Okay, okay, let's hop back into it. Thank you all for waiting. Please, Blue Archive, do not crash on me again. M Miyako? Saki? Where did you all go? Why, why did you crash my PC? Why did you crash the game? <laughs> Oh my god, we were at the very end, too. Oh. oh, god. Oh, y'all are so sweet. I'm glad that y'all have enjoyed my videos. Even even the massively scuffed <laughs> things that keep happening to me. I'm glad, I'm glad that y'all um, have been enjoying stuff. I'm sorry that this stream has been... <laughs> Off to a bit of a rough start, but let's let's keep going, man. <sighs> okay, I'm glad y'all enjoyed the break. That's good. That's very good to hear. <laughs> Swear to God. <sighs> oh God, and here they are. And they're off on their own. Okay, Miyako, what are you doing? Rabbit one reporting. The time is. One six to five hours. We followed the GPS signal Rabbit 3 sent us to pinpoint the location of the suspect who infiltrated Point Sierra, confirming arrival at the site. It is currently raining at Point Romeo, the drop-off point, and visibility is down to about 500 meters. All units, please exercise caution. Uh, uh, um, th th this is R Rabbit 4. Uh, thankfully, the weather's kind of making it so nobody's around here right now. No hidden enemies. We're not in immediate danger of ambush, and I'm in a good position if anything happens. Copy that. Uh, Rabbit 2, please report. Rabbit 2 here. I've cut the circuits. The alarm sensors are down for the count, for now at least. But, you know, is there a problem, Rabbit 2? Not exactly a problem, but does this building look kind of familiar to anyone else? Did you shock yourself? Cutting the circuits? We've never had an operation here before, dummy. 
that's not what I meant. It's like the, the layout. I don't know. The structure feels familiar. It's kind of like the indoor warfare range at the SRT training facility, isn't it? Three doors and entrances, and when I was reviewing the blueprints Moe gave us, I thought the maze-like layout inside seemed familiar. Oh god. Oh god. I feel like it's gonna be the Fox Platoon. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it actually is kind of familiar, isn't it? Although someone would have started shooting at us by now if it was a training exercise. P -p please don't jinx it. Uh, I do feel better knowing we've kind of done this before. That's right. Since we're familiar with the terrain, it'll be easier for us to predict and adapt throughout encounters. But buildings with this layout are usually easier to defend. Back in our mock battles, the defenders usually had the upper hand, so I'm kind of nervous. <laughs> Big bad. We're elite agents of SRT. Saki is scared. <laughs> Come on. Who cares what kind of defense or weapons they have? We'll just do what we always do. Easy peasy. Uh, to think I had to be cheered up by you. Fine, fine. If PMC's elites armed to the tooth can't beat us, who can? And I'll, I'll be watching your backs. We just have to work together. Rabbit 2, everyone to positions. Let's go. Oh, God. Oh, God, no. I feel like this isn't going to go well. Breaching. Oh, God. I've secured our entry point, our entry path. Rabbit one, taking the building. Oh, God. This seems bad. Site A, clear. Site B, clear. Continuing to site C. This is strange. We're deep into their territory now and they still haven't made contact. Are they being cautious of us? I haven't made any mistakes so far. I'm staying aware of potential movements or traps, but it feels like I'm still missing something. This is Rabbit 2. Rabbit 1, we've run into a barricade that we can't breach. Do you want us to break through it? No, avoid giving away your position at all costs. Find a way around if you can. Understood. Going to start moving towards the center aisle. Continuing. Ah! No, God, no! Saki! H Hello? W was that a gunshot? Rabbit 2, report in. S Saki? I, I can't get through. Did, did she lose her communicator? Rabbit 4, requesting an update on the situation. Rabbit 3, our GPS doesn't seem to be... Oh, no! This is all going so badly! I, I'm jammed. No signals coming in or out. We're all cut off from each other. I won't even be able to rely on any backup. The enemy was in perfect sync. Ambush the point, jam communications, and isolate each member all at once before anyone knows what happened. It was a simple and straightforward plan, but nearly impossible to execute. The amount of coordination that would have been required, and in complete silence at that, I need to tread carefully. That doesn't matter right now, though. To start, I have to rescue Saki. <laughs> An ambush? I didn't notice them close in at all. God damn it, it's the Fox Squad! No! Think, Miyako, the passageway is too narrow for my primary weapon to be useful. Close combat isn't my specialty, but I'm still an SRT agent. Upset my opponent's center of gravity, take advantage when they lose balance. Foxtrot. A flash bomb? This close? Oh god! 
1.5 seconds. Reactions are slow. You took too long to reorient after the explosion and flash. You moved exactly per the CQB manual, but the real world doesn't follow your textbooks. Your movements are too predictable. You should have taken the initiative and rushed me. Ugh. Stop moving. I might accidentally break your arm. You're no ordinary soldier. Who are you? Does who I am change anything? You went into this operation thinking, I'm SRT. I can handle whatever might lie ahead of us, didn't you? Lazy. Undisciplined. Always assume the worst case scenario. Even the best, most experienced veteran can be taken out by a stray bullet on a battlefield. Courageous warriors don't live long here. A good special forces soldier conducts themselves with cowardice, or you'll end up dead. W wait, I... I know that voice. It... it can't be. It's been quite some time, squad leader Tsukiyuki Miyako. Ah, I knew it! You look well. You... Yukino? Well, 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 if it wasn't the Fox Squad behind it. <sighs> Man, well, I appreciate them uh, wanting to, I guess, to some extent, like, be like, hey, you should always, like, be looking out for these things, and this is what you should be careful about. <laughs> It's also kind of, it's kind of bullshit. Like, oh my god, Yukino is like, if you move around too much, I'll break your arm. This is just hazing. <laughs> god. Okay. The fox's shadow. Let's go. Dear god. <sighs> All the rabbit squad. What the hell is happening? Someone better start talking. I was monitoring the surveillance cameras when I was ambushed. Someone forced a hood over my head and dragged me here. M me too. I, I was in my position and someone came up super quietly and they, they, they blindfolded me. I got rolled around and around and around in a big barrel. Oh, <laughs> you! You sad, precious girl. Oh, God. Uh, I... I think I'm gonna throw up. Why are you slacking off with us, Saki? I thought you and Miyako had breached the building already. Or we had, but then... Ugh, I can't remember. I went into the center aisle to avoid the barricade, but I was ambushed and knocked out. I don't remember what happened after that. I just remember waking up here. Well, we don't know where we are or who brought us here, but I do know one thing. We let ourselves get abducted, didn't we? Don't make me say it. Ugh, it was pure carelessness. I, I, I just realized something. The, these suspects are arms brokers, right? So they do a lot of illegal trades. Super bad guys like them would normally think kill us, right? If, if we're alive, they're going to, they're going to, they're going to sell us to someone. Oh god, Miu! No, Miu, they're probably just gonna sell your weapons. <laughs> they're not gonna sell you to someone. Oh god. Oh god. They're, they're gonna sell us to some research facility and test weapons on us and, and torture us or, or, what if they make us dress up in a cat costume and meow for them? That would be even worse. Okay, Miu, when this is all done, we need to have a talk about what you've been reading. <laughs> Maybe I need to introduce you to uh, to some folks who can who can help explain that what you've been reading is not <laughs> not exactly indicative of reality. Oh my God, Miu. <laughs> Poor girl, they're not gonna take you and test weapons on you. Oh my god. They would just take your weapons. They would just take your weapons. I, uh, I don't even know where that last fear came from. It's okay, Mio. Look, 
Uh, Miyako isn't with us, which means she hasn't been caught yet. Just sit tight and plan how we're going to get back at these guys once she rescues us. No! Oh, Miyako, hi! Is everyone okay? Uninjured? Miyako! M Miyako, right on time. See, I, I told you she'd come rescue us. Oh, um, about that. <laughs> I'm a... Uh, more of a prisoner than a rescuer in this situation. <laughs> this is the last disqualified. <laughs> if this was SRT's CQB test, every last one of you would have been disqualified. That equipment? Are you? Aren't you the Fox Squad? I... I don't understand what's happening here. <laughs> what? You don't like parties? We decided to organize a little surprise welcoming party for our successors. Come on now. I thought you would have grown up a little after your recent adventures in Kivotos, but it looks like you're still the same old you, huh? Did you think you were coming to a tea party? I couldn't believe my eyes when you just rushed into an unknown building with no backup and no recon. Oh dear. <laughs> you, you shouldn't be so harsh on them, Kurumi. At least students who take the CQB test know that they're taking it. How could they have predicted us being here? If they'd been up against ordinary arms dealers like they thought, their plan would have been perfect. Nico, why are you the best? <laughs> why are you the best? She's the nice mom of the group. Oh, God. The next time an enemy appears unexpectedly on the battlefield, should we just ask them to politely leave? You were all unprepared. I'm... I'm sorry. Uh, anyways, I'm sure you must be hungry after all that excitement. I made a bunch of Inari Zushi for everyone. We can worry about operations and preparedness after everyone's stomachs are full. I know there's probably a million questions running through your mind, and trust me, we have a whole lung full of things that we want to say too, but let's enjoy a meal together first. Oh, okay. Oh, Nico, Nico is so good. <sighs> I mean, I'd be slow to react too if I worried about as many things as you do during the middle of an operation. Imagine you're in a tight corridor like Miyako was before, and it's tricky to maneuver your primary weapon. Now there's an enemy approaching from a different direction. What's your plan? Um, I think you're supposed to switch to your sidearm and shoot? And you think right if you're following the manual, but you need to evaluate the situation in front of you. It's always going to be different. Here you should smash them as hard as you can with your gun's buttstock. In close quarters like that, the fastest one wins. You were the one who was ambushed, so the enemy wouldn't expect a full frontal attack like that. And all this changes depending on the enemy's armor, their distance, strength, Ugh, real world situations are so different from the textbooks. I actually kind of like that they're giving them some instructions. I don't, I don't know if I like um, that they were trying to infiltrate Shale. I'm a little bit worried about what that means here, but you know, I'm glad the Fox Squad is trying to pass along some helpful info. That's, that's good. You think all it took was a mission or two to be a veteran. You've got a lot to learn. <laughs> hmm, is this salmon row? It pairs surprisingly well with the Nari Zushi. Hey, I was saving that for myself. Hands off. Chill out. It's just a Nari Zushi. Do you really want to embarrass yourself in front of the in front of the little ones? Here, just have the egg soboro flavored one. No thanks, I'll stick with the salmon row. <laughs> I brought enough of each kind, so there's no need to fight. Oh, Miyu, here, don't be shy, dig in. <laughs> oh, 
Miko is looking after me, you. Oh, R really? Uh, e even I can have some? Of course. In fact, I think this one right here has your name on it. Uh, thanks. Oh, it's it's so good. Ah, it feels like forever since I've had Nico's cooking. You won't find Inari Zushi with this many toppings anywhere else in Kivotos. <laughs> Getting up early was totally worth it all of a sudden. Oh, you'll always be able to recognize my Inari Zushi from anyone else's because of my secret marinade. Hmm, why? Do I feel like I've had this Inari Zushi recently? Am I just imagining it? You're not just imagining it, Saki. <laughs> Nico uh, gave some Inari Zushi to Sensei and passed along some interesting information in the first part, tipping them off about Kaiser trying to redevelop the park. Um, I'm very curious about why Nico risked doing that. It seems to me she might be conflicted about this, but yeah, I guess we're gonna find out about that because I desperately want to know um, how and why that all happened. Um, if it's okay to ask, how, how did you find me? I, I I thought I found a really good spot, so I I was kind of surprised. Miu, right? The star student who aced the concealment training. <laughs> you did really well, actually. We wouldn't have noticed if Nico hadn't pointed you out. Good job. <laughs> Thank you. Why are you getting closer and closer? You were just so hidden. What's your process? Do you have some kind of special camo gear? What zoom is your scope set at? <laughs> Poor Miu is not used to interacting with so many people. <laughs> Anyways, if our seniors in Fox Squad were the ones buying the weapons, I guess we don't have anything to worry about. If it came from them, I'm sure the funds were clean too. Yeah, I don't know if I'd say that y'all are safe just yet. Actually, I'd like to ask a question. Of course, shoot. What did you guys take from the basement of the chalet building during the coup? Uh, oh, <laughs> well, that... More importantly, I've been wondering this for a long time now. You disappeared without a word when SRT's closure was decided. The next thing we knew, you were storming the General Student Council building. Why? Ah. Yeah, I would also like to know why you all are working with Kaya. I can't share that information with you yet. Is it confidential? No. It's not that. So we needed to determine if you could be reliable allies. Hold on. Aren't we all on the same team? The SRT? What, what did we do wrong? Let me ask you a question. If we ordered you... Could you stand against Sensei on the battlefield right now, at this very moment? <sighs> See, you're not ready to decide. Oh God. A weapon has one purpose and is useless if it can't perform it. Oh, thanks for your hard work on this mission, squad leader Tsukiyuki. As of today, the rabbit squad is disbanded. You all now will be part of the fox squad. <gasps> what? No, 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 
no, no, no. No, 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 no. D Disbanded? A our squad? Don't misunderstand. I'm not penalizing you for an unsatisfactory performance. I value your leadership. We're just relieving you of burdens you never should have had to shoulder. Let us bear the difficult work from here on out. But we want to help restore the SRT Academy. We, we never gave up. Yes, you've all worked hard. That, on top of your living situations, seems to have worn your squad down. There is no longer a need to bear the responsibility of reviving SRT Academy. That responsibility was always ours. Yours has always been to be a weapon in our toolbox. That's... that's not what we... we... The... the rabbit squad! Squad leader Tsukiyuki, you have to decide. Will you step up and fulfill your duty as a sharpened blade? Or will you waver and fight for justice with your rusted edge? We... God! Y Yukino! Hold on! <gasps> oh, snap! We've got company. Who? How could they have found us? <laughs> y Yumi sensei You guys are the Fox Squad, right? Nice to meet you. I really enjoyed the Inari Zushi last time. Mm -hmm. y Yumi sensei did did you follow us from the park? I I didn't notice we were being tailed. Well, you guys left the park so suspiciously, so I came to find you. You were acting weird, so I ended up asking around and I tracked you down. Man, good work. I'm impressed. <laughs> We've come very far to be able to uh, track them down and everything. I believe this is our first meeting, Yumi-sensei. I've been wanting to thank you for your working in cleaning up the mess created by the student council president's sudden departure. On behalf of SRT Academy, I would like to express my gratitude. I'm just doing my job. But what I'm discussing with squad leader Tsukiyuki is internal SRT Academy business. So, we'd appreciate it if you could leave this matter to us. I've heard that you are not one to undermine a student's decision or authority. Consider your authority the opposite of undermined. But my students look like they need time to process. It would be good for you to give Miyako some space. Understood. It seems you're the kind of adult students inherently trust and follow. Um, thanks, I guess. I appreciate the compliment. Please don't try to shoot at me. <laughs> mm. It's your type that tends to be the most aggravating. <laughs> Uh, I'm glad your situation hasn't dampened your spirit. This fight can wait until D-Day. It won't be long anyway. Fox Squad, stand down. Head back to HQ for the next mission. Okay. Um. Do, hey, hey, Rabbit Squad, do you know what D-Day is? Squad leader Tsukiyuki. I have sent a location to your phone. Come find me there, if you are able to see things the right way. I... One day, you'll understand. <sighs> ah! God! 
Okay. I don't like this. I don't like that D-Day is gonna be happening. Oh god! Okay. Well, give me a second, y'all. I'm gonna have a drink real quick. Ugh. Everyone, make sure to hydrate. Okay. Well, 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 well. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, no, this is, uh... Ooh, this is intense, y'all. <laughs> I don't like where this is going. Okay. Oh, no. No. The heartbroken music. Oh, my heart. God, the OST of this game is such a banger. It just hits you right in the feels. Back at the park, the rabbit squad filled me in on their discovery earlier in the day and the ensuing operation. So, the fox squad was behind the Shale incident. We should have told you from the beginning. It's one thing for us to mess up, it's another thing for our mess up to endanger you, Sensei. I guess we were kind of scared to tell you. You did great. There's nothing to worry about. It's okay. None of this is your fault. But, but we were totally clueless, just, just happily camping at the park. And you brought us all that expensive beef to thank us for, for something we caused. No, Miu, 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 don't think that. It's okay. And we, we're just poor, homeless students, so we can't even pay it back. The only thing we have to offer is expired bento. P -p Please, thank, take it as thanks. No need, really, me, you, it's fine. I'm perfectly fine without it. We'll make it right by finding out what they took from Shale and retrieving it. But taking on the Fox Squad won't be easy. We'll have to at least ascertain what it is they took first. It's not something anyone's been missing, and it didn't look big in the footage. Expensive tuna cans? Teacher's underwear? Oh god! <laughs> they better not have taken my underwear, excuse me! Me you! Oh god. Sensei's underwear? <laughs> The idea of seniors breaking into Shale armed to the teeth just to steal underwear is uh, unnerving. Oh god. Um we can we can worry about that later, y'all. <laughs> I'd like to know more about the Fox Squad members. It slipped my mind that you wouldn't be familiar with them. Uh, to summarize, the Fox Squad seniors in a nutshell. They're Kivotos' elite. Elite forces with the combat capabilities of SRT are a dime a dozen, but when it comes to special ops, they're insurmountable. They're trained to handle any situation in any kind of environment. Their skills go way beyond just combat. They were the ideal. They were the one that not only met, but embodied all that was expected of SRT agents. For example, the Fox Squad's deputy leader, Nico. Oh, tell me more about Nico. She's the squad mom, you know. <laughs> she is canonically the squad mom. <laughs> Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Her capacity for acceptance and patience are unmatched. And I know, because I definitely tested it. <laughs> she used to pack Inari Zushi lunches for any squad leaving for a mission. Nika was everyone's rock. Other squads would come to her for advice all the time. Nico helped me a lot when I was new. She's not just nice, though. No matter how hopeless an operation is, Nico never panics. Her ability to stay calm and evaluate a situation is invaluable. 
They say she's never lost count of the ammo or supplies the squad's used in any operation, even with all those messy battles under her belt. In that sense, Maue, you could take a cue from Nico. <laughs> Don't deny that you find something exhilarating about emptying the entire magazine once in a while, too. Uh, and then there was Kurumi, the Fox Squad's resident grump and point woman. Well, being on the front lines all the time makes you a little high strung, you know? You can't let your guard down for even a second. It can mean life or death for the whole squad. And Kurumi's real power shines in her quick, flexible responses to the unexpected. She's unflappable through every ambush and attack. The way she can analyze her terrain and use it to her advantage under pressure, it's really impressive. I've actually heard that about her too. When her gun malfunctions smack in the middle of enemy territory, she didn't waste a second. She just grabbed the nearest enemy's weapon and started breaking through them with her own with their own firepower. If it were up to me, I probably would have followed my field manual and tried to fix it. <laughs> I couldn't have turned it around like she did. Good God, the Fox Squad's pretty impressive. I'm way more book smart than street smart, so I can't help but admire adaptability in other people. That's very, that's very humble of you, Saki. I appreciate you recognizing that about yourself. But that's how you learn more. You see what things you might be a little weak in, and then you improve from there. Now, Otogi, the sniper in the Fox Squad. I... I didn't get to talk to her much, but I, I've never met a sniper like her before. You're right in that assessment. She definitely isn't your usual lone wolf sniper who prefers to be hidden away. Atogi's got this natural charisma that really commands a room. The spotlight seemed to follow her when we were at SRT. I've never met a sniper with a presence like hers. I didn't even realize she was a sniper at first. She is pretty weird in that sense. You normally want your snipers quiet, invisible, so they can hit their mark unnoticed. But when Otogi enters the field, you know. I had to go against her in a training drill once, and it was so hard. I was totally on edge, not knowing where her bullets would come from next, but knowing she was there. They say a good sniper neutralizes three enemies for every one bullet shot. <laughs> oh my god! Who says that? That's crazy! How would you accomplish this? I guess Kivoto students are just built different. <laughs> what? Three people with one shot? Good god, Miyu. That's kind of a high standard. And good coordination is really important so your teammates can benefit from any intel you gather. Compared to her, I... I mean, sometimes even my own teammates forget I exist. Oh, Miu, but that's... Oh, God. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, that, th that was one time, and it wasn't your fault at all. She's right. Uh, the idiot who didn't realize we were missing a member is to blame. It's not that hard to keep track of three people. Just Sh shut up. It wasn't like that at all. <laughs> and then there's Yukino, the Fox Squad's leader. Yeah, I would like to know more about her. Ugh. AKA Little Miss Perfect, and like actually perfect, not like when I'm making fun of Saki. It's true though. <laughs> Yukino's unmatched. She manages and directs the squad members' movements down to the second. That squad trusts her more than they trust themselves. If she told them to jump off a plane with no parachute, they would do it with complete faith that they would be okay. Oh, geez. That was certainly a favorable evaluation. Yes, 
Those seniors were our wildest dreams. We aspired to them. They were our role models. Anything our rabbit squad could accomplish, it's not just the fox squad could do it too. They would do it better, faster, more efficiently, and smarter. You'd be surprised at how imperfect perfect people actually are. And Miyako, the rabbit squad, is not replaceable. Based. Yes, excellent. They do such good work. Who cares that they're not? <laughs> they're not like the senior fox squad. Let's go. Do, do you think so? It's hard not to think that way, I suppose. Because the Yukino in my memory, the way she glowed on the TV screen, that doesn't matter. She seemed different. Older? Mature? Maybe she grew up while I was, while she was gone, somewhere I couldn't go. There's so much I don't understand. Maybe they were right. If we still haven't grown through all this, maybe it is time to throw in the towel, follow orders, and let people smarter and better than us shoulder all these responsibilities. No, 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 Miyako! That's the opposite of what I was saying. What, what would the three of you want to do? Even if you ask us. It's just r r really overwhelming. Uh, hey y'all, I hate to interrupt you, but there's something going on. What, what is that sound? Yeah, that's what I was wondering, Miyako. Is it the emergency broadcast from the General Student Council? Do you, do you think it's related to the recent attack? All citizens of Kivotos, this is a critical announcement. In a few moments, we will deliver an urgent statement on behalf of the Kivotos General Student Council. We urge all residents to tune in to the official General Student Council channel or the Kronos channel to hear this pressing message. Me <laughs> Don't mind that. This is important. To hear this pressing message. <laughs> Ignore me stumbling over my words there. The General Student Council's official channel? Where's my phone? Yeah, no, this is this is bad. This is real bad. There's a much, much bigger screen you can use instead. Look up. Is that a video on the side of an airship? Oh god. Is it really? Ah no, it's Kaya! Oh god, no, it's Kaya! Oh no, 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 no. Is this D-Day? Is it D-Day? Oh god. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Greetings, citizens of Kivotos. I'm Shiranui Kaya, the head of the Kivotos General Student Council's Defense Office. I'm sorry for addressing you so unexpectedly today, but it is an urgent matter. In recent times, our city has faced numerous crises. A mysterious structure descended from the sky, paralyzing our city and causing extensive damage, not only to the DU, but also to every academy district. Unfortunately, as the student council, we failed to effectively respond to this monumental crisis and provide a resolution. Instead, we relied on decisions made by Shale and the individual districts to mitigate the damages. This was due to the absence of Nanagami Rin, the acting General Student Council President, during the time of the incident. This has resulted in her relinquishing her responsibilities. Criticism regarding her failure to fulfill her duties as acting General Student Council President has persisted. 
existed, even within the Board of Administration. Finally, today, a vote of no confidence in Chief Officer Nanagami was passed. I, Kaya Shiranui, have been duly sworn in as the new Acting General Student Council President. Oh god! No, 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 no! What? What? New Acting General Student Council President? This... This transition is not a matter we take lightly. Oh, God. We acknowledge that many of you are likely concerned about the sudden change in the General Student Council's leadership. Nevertheless, we are committed to restoring normalcy in Kivotos and seek your support for the new Board of Administration that will be established. God, no! <laughs> this is so bad! And lastly, Yumi Sensei, I'm sure you're watching this broadcast from somewhere right now, Sensei. Oh god, I am. I am watching this broadcast. What do you want, Kaya? What's happening? Why have you taken control? For the sake of the future of Kivotos and Shale, please abide by my request, Yumi Sensei. As soon as this broadcast is over, we request your presence in the General Student Council's reception room. All members of the General Student Council eagerly anticipate your visit. Thank you, and farewell. I look forward to Kivotos' future. Do you now, Kaya? Oh, God. Um, what exactly is going on here? The General Student Council is in crisis. Yeah, yeah, no, it is. It absolutely is. Coup d'etat. Alrighty then. Alrighty. It, man, in here. Man, Kaya was even betrayed by Kaiser and everything. I had been hoping that her plans would fall apart, but. Because she had been wanting this. She had been wanting to take over the General Student Council, but then everything happened with uh, <laughs> the Chroma attacking. Um, and, uh, yeah, now apparently she has just resumed her plans. That's great. Absolutely great. Coup d'etat, everyone. Let's go. Let's go talk to Kaya and see what's going on here. A few hours earlier in the Kivotos General Student Council Conference Room. Oh, God, we're going to see how the coup happened. Oh, God. I know we just finished one coup. Kaiser took over. Do we really have to deal with another one now? How does Kaya think this is going to go? Are that people are just going to roll over and accept this? Man, <laughs> just another day in Red Winter. <laughs> exactly, this is the student council. This isn't Red Winter. And apparently it's becoming like that. The next item on the agenda is determining the level of punishment for the Kaiser Corporation and its executives for exploiting a disaster to spark a civil war and seize the authority of the General Student Council. Normally, this would have been a top priority for the General Student Council and the Board of Administration once they were back in session. However, due to the destruct, eh, due to the destruction, <laughs> my words are not coming out today. Due to the destruction of many of DU's communications and logistics facilities during the recent events, Discussions on this matter have been postponed while we prioritize the restoration of DU for the safety and well-being of our citizens. Pretty reasonable. Uh, a lot of things got destroyed. <laughs> uh, we kind of had a, a big tower that descended on the Sanctum Tower, so that was bad. Thank you for the clarification. As you mentioned, the Kaiser Corporation led a group of private soldiers in an attempt to seize control of the Sanctum Tower and use the ancient weapon they had, unearth they had unearthed. 
Although we managed to prevent the situation from escalating with the help of Shale's sensei and the student council members from various districts, it's essential to recognize the potential consequences. <sighs> if we had failed to stop them, not only would the general student council have collapsed, but Kivotos itself would have been in grave danger. This entire attempt was only possible because Kaiser was... Uh, the Kaiser Corporation is a mega corporation with influence in everything from defense to logistics. Yeah, they kind of have their hands in a lot of different um, industries. <laughs> It's not great. They have construction. They have uh, a private military company. Um, they have a lot of things. It's not good. To ensure that such an incident is never repeated, I believe it's crucial to impose the most severe punishment on the Kaiser Corporation and its executives. I'm I'm on board with that. Do it, Rinny. <laughs> Do it. You have my blessing. That sounds great. Oh, wait a minute. While it's true that the Kaiser Corporation used private soldiers to forcefully take over the General Student Council, we can hardly ignore the fact that Chief Officer Rin's unilateral activation of the Emergency Response Committee just before the incident caused chaos within the Council. But the reason we weren't present that day was due to the motion to censor Rin. Moreover, there are reports suggesting that Chief Officer Rin was seen riding in one of the ancient weapons unearthed by the Kaiser Corporation. In fact, isn't it possible that Chief Officer Rin was somehow involved with the Kaiser Corporation in this matter? No, excuse me! Have you not been briefed? We saved the entire city. What are you talking about? What? That's quite a serious accusation. I understand that there may be suspicions surrounding this case, but let's remember that there are established procedures and protocols for handling such matters. If a resolution of accountability is passed and an, and an investigation into the Kaiser Corporation is initiated, you can count on me to fully cooperate with the investigation. <sighs> Rin, you're being entirely too reasonable. <gasps> Heine! Oh my god, we've only ever seen her in flashbacks. <laughs> oh, snap. Hey, Aoi? How many hours has this meeting been going on? Did we miss lunch already? It's been 8 hours, 32 minutes, and 15 seconds since we began. But we still have three more items on the agenda, so just eat your onigiri. Endurance meetings like this are fairly typical for the Board of Administration, aren't they? Uh, onigiri? What onigiri? Hey, Owie, you, you didn't give me any onigiri. <laughs> or wasn't it Rin who gave Shale sensei the extrajudicial powers in the first place? Even though it was in a memo from the General Student Council president, we couldn't even verify if the memo was authentic. We have been through this. The memo is undoubtedly from the General Student Council president. If necessary, we can confirm its authenticity through handwriting analysis. Chief Officer, this is besides the point. There are established procedures for everything. Good God, this staffer. <laughs> oh my God, so hostile. Ignoring the decisions of the Board of Administration, even if you're the Acting General Student Council President, this is unacceptable. I, I have always followed rules and procedures exactly as written out, but... Good God. Hey, Sumomo, did you get Onigiri? <laughs> oh, we have both of them together! <laughs> uh -huh. I'm too sleepy to eat right now. N no, not for you. I I'm trying to ask if you took my share of onigiri. <laughs> God. Oh. Kaiser Corporation is a major player in Kivotos, and if they go under, it would be a catastrophe worse than the tower incident. 
with Kaiser Industries, Kaiser Construction, and Kaiser Convenience all going bankrupt. Unemployment would skyrocket. Who will take responsibility for that, Chief Officer? Okay, but they still need to be punished for a coup. You can't just be like, they're too big to fall. That, no, that's bad logic. <laughs> There has to be some punishment that happens here. You can't just let them continue existing as they currently do. Like, there are things that you can do. There are, like, procedures that you can enact. Come on now. <laughs> Literally bought politicians, indeed. Given the influence of Kaiser Corporation, I believe a fine to assist with cleanup and restoration will suffice. Just a fine? Come on now. <laughs> Hey, Momoka, are you hungry? You're not getting any of my Tadako flavored chips, no matter how much you beg. So don't even try it. Go get some onigiri or something. Just don't touch my chips. No, I'm, I'm trying to tell you, I, I never got any onigiri. <laughs> oh my God, Haina. <laughs> I don't believe further discussion will be productive at this time. Chief Officer, I think everyone will benefit from some fresh air. Let's adjourn for today and reconvene later. Understood. Since it's getting late, we'll close the meeting and resume tomorrow. Thank you, everyone. Oh, God. Everything is good so far. <laughs> Coup hasn't happened yet. <sighs> I thought I was prepared for how difficult that was going to be. Thank you for your hard work, Chief Officer. Ah, Chief of Defense. Thank you. Uh, you as well. Was there anything the matter? How are you doing? I just wanted to stop by and let you know I think you killed it. You flatter me. I've thought this before, but they're totally out of line. Practically all they use to all they use their mouths for are to gossip about you and talk about themselves. Being a leader and having to make decisions based on so many differing opinions isn't easy. I can't blame them, though. I'm responsible for this situation, too. I just have to be patient and convince them one by one. Oh, Rini. God. God, what a horrible position she's in. Oh, my God. But do you really need to, though? You're just the chief officer of general management, but you're also the acting general student council president. You could make things so much easier for yourself by using your authority to make the other chairs say yes. But authority? It's like a double-edged sword, chief of defense. It might seem like a quick fix, but its value dwindles the more you rely on it. I can't use my authority to suppress others' voices just because they disagree with me. Honestly, I'm not even sure about myself. <sighs> As I suspected, you might not be cut out for this whole president thing. Rinny? Rinny? What are you saying, Chief of Defense? Ah, uh, no, 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 no! Rin, truly, I've never liked you. You're nothing like the President, but you had all her favor. And look at you. Even after she's gone, you're still trying to do right by her. You're the president. And you're still listening to everyone around you and harping about procedures. 
Your maddening, centrist approach won't solve anything. Kivotos can only be fixed by a superhuman. Chief Kaya, the General Student Council President, is missing, and her seat is vacant. My role as the Chief Officer is to protect and preserve that seat during her absence. Uh, oh, is that so? Funnily enough, I stumbled upon something interesting in Shaler's basement during the recent incident. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, what did she find? A secret letter from the General Student Council President that has never been made public. Uh secret letter? According to the letter, the president wanted the chief of defense to take charge in the event of an emergency, not the chief officer. In other words, the person who should have been the acting president during her absence was never Nanagami Rin. It was always intended to be Shira Nui Kaya. What nonsense are you saying right now? Now then, why was a letter with such an important message secretly hidden in Shale's basement? Kaya, did you plant something there? I don't trust this for one second. I don't trust that this letter is real. I feel like she and the fox... I feel like she's fooling the fox platoon into thinking this was hidden. How did she get that in there in the first place? I don't think this letter is real. Yes, hidden in Shale's basement, in a building, coincidentally enough, that only Chief Officer Nanagami Rin had access to when the General Student Council president disappeared. And to further the coincidences, is it not you, Chief Officer Rin, who has the most to gain by the concealment of this document? Oh my god, she's been playing the long con. I have no idea when or how she was able to gain access to Shale. I don't know how how Kaya planted this, but this is... This is unbelievable. How long has she been planning this for? This is ridiculous. Do you really think people would just believe the letter's authenticity without proof? I'll have a handwriting appraisal done, as well as an analysis of the signature. That should be no problem if the General Student Council wrote that letter. Certainly. Verifying the document's authenticity is crucial, just like with the note found in the President's office. Ah, I would consider your current standing in the Council. How many members do you think will believe you, huh? Kaya, you! <gasps> no! Chief Officer Nanagami Rin, you are under emergency arrest for concealing official documents and abusing authority. Pursuant to Article 78 of the General Student Council Executive Regulations, your duties as Acting General Student Council President are automatically suspended until the investigation concludes. But in the interim, I suppose we'll need a new acting president. Now, won't we? You've planned this from the very start. If the president returns, she won't forgive you for this. And if she does return, I look forward to seeing her reaction to your absolute failure in her absence. <sighs> Now please, respectfully escort the chief officer to her dormitory. Place her under 24-hour house arrest and surveillance. Yes, ma'am. God damn it, Kaya. Damn it, Kaya! No! No! I'll figure out how you did this, damn it. I'll figure this out. Director of Human Resources, how are things with the protests around the General Student Council building? I was actually just about to reach out to you about that. 
We've assembled many students to protest the Transportation Office and the Regulatory Committee's weak response to the many incidents at public facilities recently. I thought I would need to hire them, but they surprisingly just volunteered. Maybe. Maybe it's because they were our students, but they seemed very excited talking about transportation technology or something. Of course, none of this would have been possible without your intel, Chief of Defense. There was a lot of information that would have been hard to grasp unless you were there. I was curious about how you gathered all this data. God. And then they're they're getting people to protest outside just to make sure that everything is even worse for Rin. I do appreciate that they're like, we didn't even hire them. The people protested all on their own. <laughs> God. Will this insipid curiosity of yours help you complete your task in any way? Oh, uh, no, I, I didn't mean to pry. Uh, anyway, to report, angry students are protesting in front of the building. So even if you're a neutral board member not interested in factionalism, it won't look good for Chief Officer Rin. I'm sure most would be in favor if we held a vote of no confidence. Great job. And stay vigilant in managing the protesters. God damn it! This woman! Heine, what about the letters you were supposed to send to the sports federations? I sent it right away, just like you asked. Uh, well, not exactly right away. I was so hungry after the meeting that I stopped by the kitchen to grab a bite to eat. You don't need to report every little thing like that. So, how is the sports industry reacting? They usually take a pretty hard line against cheating and manipulation, so everyone was pretty disappointed to hear that Chief Officer Rin had falsified official documents for her own gain. Is it true that the Fox Squad that raided the General Student Council the other day was also funded by Chief Officer Wynn? It did seem like they were in a rush to shut down the SRT Academy. Of course. If that's all, I'm going to hang. And by the way, those foxes can really give it to you, huh? They put me in a reverse key lock as soon as I grabbed their shoulders. <laughs> I bet they got training in martial arts submissions at SRT, too. I, I should have tapped out then. My shoulder might never recover from that last attack. Heine, I'm hanging up. Yeah, yeah. Wait, uh, but this is really important. I was supposed to get an onigiri earlier, and I want to know who... Oh, Heine! Heine, how could you? How could you fall for Kaya's schemes? At least I can put our concerns about the no-confidence votes to rest. And lastly... God damn it! Ah, uh, no! Protocol team... Yes, I need you to draft an emergency statement right away. Also, reach out to the Kronos channel and the municipal stations. It'll take time to set up the cameras. The no confidence vote shouldn't take long. The outcome is already set. Yes, please help us stay on track. Ah, and we'll be welcoming a very special guest soon, so please be prepared. Our guest's name is... Yumi-sensei. No, 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 I don't like where this is going. I don't like where this is going at all. Oh my god, this is terrible. Kaya. Kaya, I swear. I'm gonna get to the bottom of this. I'm gonna figure out how you forge these documents. Wait, oh no, what if, what if they do testing of the letters and they, they pretend like the thing, the, the letter, the memo that had been from the actual president, what if they pretend that the memo is actually fake and that Kaya's letter is real? Oh, I don't like where this is going. I don't know if that's going to happen, but I'm a little scared. They've mentioned the memo a couple times now. I feel like it's going to come up. 
I went straight to the General Student Council building after hearing Kaya's broadcast. Sensei! Oh dear, we're in a tight spot. Rin is... No, the, the chief officer is... Can you update me on the situation? It, it's okay, Ayumu. What... what happened? Um, so... Rin has been arrested. She's been accused of forging the General Student Council President's letter for her own gain and ordering acts of terrorism against fellow officers. The... wait. The letter the President left when she disappeared? No, 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 no! I have, my worst fears are being realized! How? How would she have forged that? It's... it's all just a horrible misunderstanding! No misunderstanding. They framed her. One hundred percent. If our high-minded senior had been someone who is capable of considering any kind of self-interest or preservation, the General Student Council would have never recovered and continued to run the way that it did. But alas, too preoccupied with doing the right thing, she fell for their blatant schemes. <laughs> That's very harsh, Momoka, but that's probably, this is probably, uh, somewhat fair. How, how are you both? Are you okay? We're hanging in there, at least for now. Oh, give me a second. <laughs> Spam is coming through. Give me a hot second. My apologies. I got a timeout. Uh, we're gonna go five minutes on that. All right. We good. <laughs> Returning to the story. We're hanging in there, at least for now. In the no confidence vote, Chief Kaya's supporters were almost overwhelmingly loud. Those who argued for Rin's innocence were drowned out by the prevailing sentiment and ousted from the proceedings. I've always complained about work, but I never thought I'd see the day when I'd skip it like this. Oh, God. You're here, Yumi-sensei. The new acting general student council president is waiting for you. Right this way. I don't like where this is going, y'all. I don't like where this is going. I'd think twice if I were you, sensei. They're pretty blatantly setting a trap and asking you to walk into it. Going there would be pretty dumb, don't you think? You're gonna get crushed like a potato chip. Thank you, Momoka. I'll try to manage one way or another. Just promise me something. Stay safe until I get back, Momoka Ayumu. Uh, your lucky blind positivity is your best trait. A slacker like me can't help you if you really want to go in there, so be careful. But please take care of yourself, Sensei. I'll try you to follow me. Oh god! No, no, no! Oh god, I don't like where this is going! <sighs> Hello, Yumi Sensei. Hi, Kaya. I'm sorry the General Student Council's mess has caused so much inconvenience. Normally, we would have had someone greet you formally, but I heard you were out earlier. Given the circumstances, I felt it necessary to call on you directly. I do apologize, it was such a public medium. You're not sorry at all, Kaya. You did that intentionally. You didn't have any urgent plans, did you? Anything special planned? Just some errands to take care of. Get, oh, like, get over it. Let's, let's get to it. What do you want, Kaya? Beyond that, what happened to Rin? Oh, Chief Officer Rin is currently under detention in the student dorms. I have stepped in as acting president of the General Student Council following the Student Council President's recently discovered letter. I'm looking forward to working even more closely with you, Sensei. About that, 
Where did this supposed letter come from, Kaya? It was found in the school's basement. We store some of the president's old belongings and projects, like the crafting room in there. I can completely understand how this could have happened during the transfer of authority and Shali's involvement. Even someone like Rin can make mistakes. I think by school they meant it was in Shale's basement. It was in Shale's basement. Yeah, um, and did you orchestrate this unauthorized search of the basement? <laughs> I suppose I can't deny that at this point. Once the coup threw DU into chaos, I secretly had someone retrieve any of the president's belongings still in the basement. Yeah, I think that was a translation error. That was supposed to be Shale's basement, not a school basement. Ugh. It just seemed so strange to me. The thought of a superhuman like the general student council president disappearing and leaving Rin, of all people, to fill her shoes. I thought maybe there was something we, the ordinary students, weren't getting. Some great plan. But it was thanks to this unauthorized search that I finally uncovered the General Student Council President's true intentions. I know I overstepped, but... But let me guess, Kaya. The ends justify the means. <laughs> You're starting to get it. Sometimes rules and processes impede justice. The people in power aren't superhumans. Their laws are weak, full of holes, and pests will always come crawling out of the woodwork to find and exploit their flimsy systems. One needs heavy boots to crush those pests, Sensei. Kaiser might have gotten a little overzealous during their occupation of Shale, but that doesn't mean their power is a lie. The opposite, actually. Wielding authority properly, as it was intended, happens to be a natural part of the job as the chief of defense. So... I fully intend to use my authority as acting General Student Council President to its fullest extent. What are you going to do with Shale, Kaya? What am I going to do with Shale? <laughs> you make it sound so villainous, Sensei. Why would I change anything? Especially after all you and your little team did for Kivotos when the General Student Council was in chaos. We appreciate your contributions and wouldn't dream of acting ungratefully. But it's also evident to anyone with eyes that you're overworked, Sensei. While students do take shifts to help lighten your day-to-day -day workload, Shale's organizational structure inherently means you're always going to be stretched thin. So we've been thinking. We, the members of the General Student Council, have been brainstorming how we could, you know, help you out, Sensei. Yeah, she's not... She's not wrong. We are overworked, but I don't I don't like where this is going. How do you plan on doing that, Kaya? This is a proposal to reform Shale's administrative structure. We hope to present this to you for your approval. Our main goal is to lessen your workload while giving you more authority, Sensei. Take your time and look it over. If you approve, sign the dotted line. What changes after I sign this? Nothing changes, per se. You can keep doing your job as you always have. 
spend your days with your students. Help citizens in need. Of course, it's no issue if you don't want to keep working. I won't judge you if you decide to slack off a bit, Sensei. If you need money, consider yourself taken care of. We'll even handle all that tedious paperwork for you. I do remember how much you hate those reports. The ball's in your court, Sensei. You would have to just give us one little thing. Moving forward, we'll take responsibility for your actions. All activities in Chalet will be conducted in the name of the General Student Council. Whatever you may do, whatever consequences follow Chalet, we'll handle the aftermath. Not a bad proposition, right? Adults are known for trying to dodge responsibilities, aren't they? Not this adult, Kaya. I'm not sure what you're thinking of, but I don't think you know me at all. So I'll take on all of it for you, Sensei. You can just lean on me and finally breathe easy. Yeah, she does want to use us. She wants to take credit for what we're doing. Because Shale is actually quite popular throughout the city. Unlike the General Student Council, she's trying to use our good reputation to bolster her authority. Thank you for the offer, Kaya. But I won't sign this. Being an adult means shouldering your responsibilities, no matter how heavy. Come again? Sensei? There seems to be some confusion. Our proposal isn't about trying to pin you down. It's not an underhanded trick to take away Shale's authority. We're only looking to make your job easier to give you more freedom. You could do whatever you wanted. Of course, the proposal isn't set in stone. If there was a clause you disliked, we can discuss it. I won't lie, your offer is tempting, Kaya. I am extremely exhausted, and having your support would definitely be a huge help. But I can't let my students watch my back as I run away. Slacking off doesn't exactly set the right tone for my students. <sighs> you really are just a stubborn adult. A stubborn, pathetic adult so lost in your childish ideas that you can't face reality. Managing people like you is truly draining. But fine, we'll shelve this reform proposal for now. Tomorrow, sweeping administrative reforms from our newly formed cabinet will go into effect. These changes are Kivotosa's future. I'm going to transform our society into a well-regulated, perfect new world. I hope you'll reconsider after witnessing our new Kivotos come to fruition. The Defense Department, or rather, the General Student Council is always open to you now. I expect I'll see you soon, Sensei. I suppose I will see you soon, Kaya. I'm gonna figure out how you planted that information. But farewell for now. <laughs> that angry face. Let's go. Messing with Kaya's plans. Let's go. Trying to do whatever little we can. Oh. Oh, God. Do you use new dawn? No, no, no. I don't like this at all, y'all. Okay. At least we still have Shali. We can still do something. Kaya is smart enough to see that getting rid of us would uh, be very bad for her. <laughs> 
So that's good. That's good. Okay. All right, everyone. It's a quick hydration break before we hop into the last two chapters. Everyone get your drinks. Um, make sure that you're well hydrated and then we'll hop into this here. Okay, hydration check. <laughs> oh man, all right, y'all. Let's, let's go. Do use new dawn. I'm sure everything is gonna go totally great and fine under Kaya's control, right? Oh. The fact that she thought that Kaiser was a good role model is kind of concerning. The next morning in front of Koasagi Park. Oh god. I don't like I don't like the bells in the background. Attention residents, a new executive order will go into effect at midnight today. Please visit the General Student Council website as well as your local administrative agency for further details. We look forward to your active cooperation in any future inspections by law enforcement. The General Student Council is not responsible for any harm or damages incurred from a failure to comply. Once again, attention residents, a new executive order will go into effect at 12 a.m. today. Is this really happening? Yeah, oh, this is great. We've just become an actual police state. Fantastic. <laughs> Oh yeah, let's go. Regular inspections. Oh man, super good and great for everyone. I guess so. Although I don't even know what this is. I already tried to read through the clauses on their stupid website, but it was so convoluted you can't tell what they're saying at all. Do, do you think Sensei is okay? We haven't heard from them since they went to the General Student Council building yesterday. Oh god, wait, really? Oh no! <laughs> Sensei will be okay. The new council's influence hasn't reached the Sanctum Tower as of yet. My biggest concern is what's happening all around the city right now. The announcements were alarming enough, but since this morning, I've seen a parade of armored transports and soldiers filling up the streets. There's no way it's another coup, is there? It's way too eerily quiet. We would have at least heard some shooting. It, it's hard to tell. We don't have any vision of the city from here. Oh, my sweet, my sweet rabbit girls. It, um, it was a quiet coup. The political kind. <sighs> oh, God. Right now, information is our most essential resource. We'll have to do some recon in the field. Gear up, Rabbit Squad. Let's get to the bottom of this. Oh. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Poor girls. Just trying to figure out what's going on. Oh. That's Kaiser PMC. Aren't those idiots Kaiser Special Forces or whatever? Y yeah, I recognize them. Why are they decked out in gear in the middle of the city? It's all civilian zones here. Attention, citizens. As of today, security supervision of our 47 districts, including Koasagi Town, will be managed by Kaiser Security. In accordance with the Acting General Student Council President's will and the new executive order, Kaiser Security will ensure public order in Kivotos. We request the public's cooperation to ensure a seamless transition. Oh. My God. Kaya was captured and betrayed by Kaiser, but she's still working with them. They are just working together to run the city. This is not okay! This is not okay! Oh man, running so late. Oh. 
Why is the traffic light taking forever today? I'm going to be late at this rate. Maybe I'll just go. Halt! Uh, m m me? Yes, you. Why are you trying to cross the street when the light is red? I I, I was running late for my appointment and I was rushing. I, I, I'm very sorry. Can, can you give me a pass this one time? Rules apply to everyone equally for violating the General Student Council's regulations and disrupting traffic. You will be charged with a 100,000 yen penalty. Are you kidding me right now? What? That's, um... Are you for real right now? What? <laughs> what? No! That's a decent chunk of money! A, a 100,000 yen ticket for jaywalking? I, I mean, I get jaywalking isn't cool, but that's way more than usual. Hey, jaywalking is super cool. <laughs> jaywalking, just so long as you're careful, don't walk between cars and stuff, but like... I mean, uh, definitely, definitely don't jaywalk. What, what are you, who, who are you hearing that from? <laughs> Opposing the will of the acting general student council president. Unacceptable. You are under arrest for sedition. This can't be happening. Yeah, no, this is kind of unacceptable. What? Now, how does this thing work again? Is it this button? What's that? Why is everyone crowding around this ATM? You there. Why are you loitering? Oh, oh please bear with me. I, I'm an old man and I'm not tech savvy. Withdrawing cash takes me a while sometimes. Just need to find the right button. Everyone is equal. No exceptions. All citizens deserve access to public utilities. You must move once your allotted time has passed. Your selfish behavior has created a line. Uh, hoy! Hold on now! Hold on now! Ugh. Can't even get cash these days. God! <laughs> oh, God! Can't have shit in the DU, apparently. Good God! <laughs> Good God! You there. What's that in your hand? Oh, uh, this? Just a grenade. Just a grenade, just, just a deadly explosive device that could destroy buildings and injure citizens with a mere toss. Are you a terrorist? Who is your target? Oh, ho hold up, S since when can we not carry grenades around? <laughs> These poor people, these poor people of Kivotos, they live in such a wild society where they're like, I gotta carry a grenade around for protection. Don't you know that? <laughs> Kivotos, man, indeed. Oh my god, even the regular citizens are like, what What are you talking about? I gotta carry this around. What What else do you want me to do if students start destroying buildings? <laughs> oh god. You, you wouldn't tell me how I couldn't carry my school books or water bottle, would you? I, I'm pretty sure grenades are listed on our supplies list. In an accordance with the new executive orders, carrying explosives weighing over 100 grams within DU territory is illegal. You're under arrest for conspiracy to commit a terror attack. Oh my god! Oh my god! Th no way! That, that's absurd! Oh. There are soldiers everywhere, and they're arresting citizens left, right, and center. And since when did it become illegal to carry grenades in the city? If that was a thing, I would have been arrested ages ago. It's all a part of that new executive order they issued. There's so many new rules and regulations, they could probably teach an entire class on it. The textbook would be huge. <sighs> We're focusing on the wrong thing here. Since when is Kaiser Corporation in charge of policing the public? Shouldn't the whole lot of them be behind bars after their last failed coup? You know, Saki? Asking the real questions over here. Why is Kaiser not behind bars? I agree. 
Kaiser has more influence than we realize, I think. I can't stand seeing law enforcement intimidating and arresting residents, even if it's in the name of crime prevention. That's not how justice should be upheld. A holy based Miyako. <laughs> holy based. Beautiful. None of this broken windows bullshit. <laughs> But, y you know, t today does feel more orderly. Oh, Mew. I know you feel that way, sweetheart, but, um, but this has become a police state. It's not good. <laughs> On a typical day in Kivotos, you'd have some yahoos firing guns or trying to blow us up with a grenade launcher. You know, that is fair. Definitely fair. But, like, yeah, no, don't buy into it. <laughs> With such a threatening security presence, no one's foolish enough to start anything. Why does this feel so wrong? It's because it's a police state, Miyako. Trust your instincts! Isn't this the ideal society? No one commits any crimes because the law reigns sovereign over the city. So why does it feel so... ominous? It's because it's not ideal. It's actually not ideal! <laughs> It's a surveillance and military state that's really bad. Turns out, turns out, crushing the will of the people is pretty bad. Is, is this the justice I've envisioned all these years? No, it's not, Miyako. It's bad. It's very bad. Oh my god, Descartes. I recognize that silhouette. Hey, you there, what are you doing? To not know me. It is your first time beholding such greatness, I would assume. We are well known, famous even, among folks who pursue a lifestyle of minimalism and tranquility. You must have been living a life of extravagance to not know about us. <laughs> there he is. I am Descartes. We are a collective of the poor who hope to live simply and honestly. We call ourselves the Pursuers of Non-Possessive Happiness. The, the Pursuers, for short. The Pursuers? Exactly. And we aren't moochers of society. We chose this way of life to nourish our souls. Not working, not owning, not wanting. Ah yes, the non-possession cult, of course. <laughs> we haven't seen you all in quite some time. Interested? If you fancy our way of life, please. Bravo one, take this idiot away. Oh god! Descartes! <laughs> now, now, wait a minute! We haven't done anything wrong! If you're going to haul us away, you have to at least give us a reason. Okay, here's your reason. Because you did nothing. You are cancerous parasites leeching off of society. You drain its resources and give nothing in return. For a thriving community, we need to reshape mindsets like yours. We're sending you to the Kaiser Corporation's employment facility to work. Time for you to contribute to society. Oi, 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 oi! No, 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 no. You cannot just kidnap people off the streets and force them into, into labor. That is not how this works. That is not how this works. You cannot, you cannot have forced labor. Excuse me. Excuse me. I will not permit this. No. No. You can't make me work. No. Excuse me. Even if the course of action you pursue is for the public good and safety, you cannot arrest citizens without a warrant. Let's go, Miyako! Let's go, Miyako! Save them! This is crazy! They are literally trying to enslave people! Oh my god! Oh my god! If you abuse your authority like this, as a member of the SRT Academy, I have no choice but to intervene. You misunderstand. This is the will of the acting president. Am I to understand you are questioning her command? Even if you say it's her will... A weapon has one purpose and is useless if it can't perform it. No, Miyako! It's all coming together now. No! <laughs> She's realizing what might be going on. Anyway, which school are you from? I don't recognize your uniforms. The 
the SRT Academy. SRT Academy doesn't ring any bells. Excuse me, are you trying to antagonize us? Saki, Saki, it's okay if they don't know. It just means we'll have to teach them who we are one lesson at a time. <laughs> On top of that, you seem to have weapons that violate the new executive order. No oh God, you're being detained too. Drop your weapons and put your hands in the air. Uh, don't think so. Rabbit one, permission. Permission granted on my signal. It's fine. I can handle this. Oh, <gasps> excuse me. <gasps> no, 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 no. The Kaiser General. We kicked the shit out of you before. We, we, we took over Shali. We, we defeated you. How dare you be here now? How dare you? It's been a while, Rabbit Squad. General, from the recent attack on Shale. You mean the one who nearly blew up a building during Operation Recapture Shale? I'm honored my decision stood out enough in the minds of such elites as yourselves to be remembered. Don't get a big head about it. It's more like your refusal to accept defeat was so absurd that I couldn't help but remember you. <laughs> Bless you, Saki. Ah, I suppose I'll have to take what I can get. I will admit, I may have underestimated your squad back then. But unfortunately for you, I'm not too prideful to learn from my past mistakes. Why let us go? The odds are on your side in that situation. <laughs> As if those grunts would have stopped you. Regardless, I have orders. Direct orders from the acting general student council president, in fact, to not antagonize the SRT Academy students. The acting from defense chief Kaya? Yes, it seems she's planning to reinstate the SRT Academy under her command this time. If that is true, we may not be allies, but we will be on the same side. I have no reason to fight you. She's going to reinstate SRT? There, there, your complexion is pale. Do you need anything? Probiotics? Food? God, I don't like how friendly he's being. Please, feel free to take advantage of Kaiser's services. You'll have access to whatever supplies you need at the Kaiser Express in front of the park. Granted, we can't openly give you outlawed weapons, but if you need something, let's just say we can arrange something a little more discreet. Oh God, it's so scummy and terrible. Ugh. Ugh. Get away from them, Miyako. I don't like this at all. They're trying to, they're trying to make you all complicit in their actions. Your offer sounds fine and dandy, but I know when something's too good to be true. What are you scheming behind the scenes? Your last plan to overthrow the General Student Council failed largely because of us. Surely you must resent us. <laughs> Isn't that a given? I can't stand you. RT. You have power most can only dream of, and you squander it away on your shallow ideas of justice. Your misguided sense of righteousness almost cost me everything. The idea of taking each and every one of you down, it's incredibly appealing. <laughs> But sometimes society requires us to be nice. It requires handshakes with trembling little rabbits. Personal vendettas mean nothing in the face of my greater goals. In that regard, President Kaya sets a good example. She'd collaborate with anyone as long as it furthered her goals. She proved as much when she extended her hand again, even after I betrayed her. 
The cooperation of two people who understand how to exploit the other's strengths is stronger than your paltry relationships. Things like comradeship, friendship, <laughs> machinations of the weak. You believe in nothing, then? I have my beliefs, but they don't dictate my missions. I follow orders, regardless of my personal beliefs. That's what makes an ideal soldier, a proper special ops agent. Can you claim that? To me, you're strong, but idealistic to a fault. Whiny little children. Your cowering prey who fight the injustices in front of you, but turn your head at inequalities that don't affect you. So keep winning as many battles as you want, but you won't be able to win this war. You don't have the resolve. Good God. Let's head back, everyone. We've collected more than enough intel. Please, feel free to accept some of Kaiser's free supplies on your way back. No, thank you. I'm not naive enough to be in debt to someone like you. Not when I don't know what you're planning. <laughs> Excellent. At least the leader has some amount of common sense. Until next time, then. God. God. Ugh. I can't believe we just got lambasted by that loser of all people. Something is wrong. What is it? Is there something on my face? N no, no. <laughs> About when he was taunting us earlier. You're usually a hot-headed idiot, so I was waiting for your balloon to explode. But you actually kept your cool. Has our little Saki finally matured? There were soldiers with guns everywhere. It's not about maturity. I, I was just trying not to get us killed. I would have liked to take that stupid general's face and... And, well, he was right about one thing. Dominating in battle won't help if those in power change the rules every time they start losing. I mean, at the end of the day, we were made to follow orders. At, at SRT, they always said, on the battlefield, emotions are a distraction, and distractions mean failure. God. So, I think it's time to address the elephant in the room. What's our next move, Miyako? Elephant? What do you mean? Don't play dumb. Yukino wants us to disband and become part of the Fox Squad. What do you want to do? I'm hesitant to disband Rabbit Squad, but if the SRT Academy is really reopened, it'd be a little it'd be a little purposeless to continue protesting here. Then maybe being a good weapon and listening is our best option. I mean, how much longer are we really going to live in a park? We can't keep scavenging for supplies forever. We have no way of making money and improving our situation. And I personally would much rather have a warm bed when winter hits. I... I'll do whatever you want to do, Miyako. God, no, y'all! No! Don't fall for this! Oh, God. I can understand how from their perspective, they're like, this was a natural change in power, even though there's some suspicious things going on. Oh God, no. I see. Considering Chief Kaya promised to restore SRT Academy, keeping up this barricade in the park is pointless. Joining our seniors would mean a structured life, better weapons, and a comfortable place to live for the whole squad. What matters more to me are these ideals I've dug my nails into since the moment I joined SRT just that. Ideals? Dreams? My squad members' struggles are what matters. Okay. Listen up, everyone. 
I can't make a final decision without hearing from you first. No, 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 no. Don't join with them. Don't join with them. Don't do it. Don't do it, Miyako. Call Sensei first. Confirm what's going on. <sighs> okay, y'all. Oh, God. I don't like this. I don't like this at all, y'all. <laughs> ah. There's something about the smell of a bottle of Blue Mountain after morning drills. The heating and grinding process of the beans is meticulous and intense, but it's necessary for the beans to produce this perfect flavor. A harmonious blend of acidic and refreshing. Kind of like handling people. If you approach governing hesitantly, scared of opinions and backlash, you're left with nothing but a bitter taste in your mouth. Ugh. There are murmurs now, but in time, Kivotos' people will see. They'll understand that freedom is a small price to pay for the harmony of order. With Chief Officer Rin's supporters ousted and the Kaiser Corporation's cooperation secured, everything is on track. Granting them authority to dull out punishments was a no-brainer for access to their influence and money. Good God, Kaya. Good God! <laughs> oh, this woman. This woman! If I just slowly accumulate power like this, I might even become the next General Student Council President. Oh god. Because right now she's only the acting president. Oh great. Great. Um, Chief Kaya? I mean, uh, acting General Student Council President. M my apologies. I, I have something to report. Report, Deputy Chief of Defense. This had better be important. I have too much on my plate for trivialities. Well, um, uh, about that. Uh, normally, I'd report to the supervisory office, but Chief Officer Rin is uh, unavailable, so I came directly to you instead. In that case, make it quick. What is it? At 11 a.m. earlier today, a cash transport train on the Hokuroku Central Line was commandeered by armed criminals. Their current location is unknown. According to protocol, the acting president must contact the transportation office to activate the emergency system and request assistance from neighboring districts. Yes, yes, a train hacking, armed robbers. Wait. A train was hijacked? Why am I only hearing about this now? Huh? But, but hijackings are practically routine in Kivotos. It's almost a monthly tradition at this point. <laughs> God, Kivotos. And uh, you very emphatically specified no reports this morning, so... Routine, you say? And Chief Officer Rin used to handle these hijackings on top of her other responsibilities. Y yes that's correct Ugh. Fine. I'll handle transportation. Coordinate with the Valkyrie Police School to ID the criminals and seal off possible escape routes. Start with the stations. Uh, there's a slight issue. What? What now? The Public Peace Bureau Director and all its members who usually handle this are um, actually still on probation. They were punished for disobeying orders. Due to the executive order going into effect, most Security Bureau students are out on weapon inspections, so, uh, there's no personnel to respond to the situation. Well, well, well. Well, well, well. 
Then rally any available officer or public safety member you can find. Isn't restoring order your duty? If you let this new council down, then I can't help but wonder what new role you, Deputy Chief of Defense, will be holding once the dust settles. Uh, I'll handle it immediately. Well, 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 Kaya. If your, if your actions haven't come back around to haunt you almost immediately. And this is just the beginning, isn't it? Mmm. Mmm-hmm-hmm. -hmm. <sighs> I didn't expect this being president to be so draining. Hello, transportation office. Huh? Chief Kaya? What do you want? My title is Acting General Student Council President, not Chief. You want me to call you that? <laughs> my lunch would be delivered and go cold before I finished. <laughs> Which, uh, my lunch will be delivered soon, so I'm busy. There are more pressing matters than your lunch. The Deputy Chief of Defense reported a hijacking of a cash transport train on the Hokuroku Central Line. I need you to activate the emergency system and dispatch personnel. Organize the search and retrieval for the train and report back to me. Well, eh, I think I'm good. <laughs> Excuse me? Train hijackings aren't like, snap my fingers and the problem will be solved. It's going to be an annoying, drawn out process. I'll handle it after lunch. Do you not grasp the urgency here? If you think you lack a days if you think your lackadaisical attitude is going to fly here, I'll arrest you for negligence and sabotage of the general student council. <laughs> sure, go ahead. At least I won't have to work anymore. Can you ask them to bring me some chips? <laughs> Oof. I really hope whoever replaces me can read and manage all these operational charts and stuff. <laughs> well, best of luck to them, I guess. Nobody knows Kivotosa's operations like me and my staff, Kaya. But if you want to gut my department, go ahead. I'm sure that'll work out great for you. Are you trying to strong arm me? <laughs> Yes, she is. Momika is the best. Momika is the best. She understands the position she's in. This is great. Good work, Momika. <laughs> Momika, I'm so proud of you. <laughs> yeah, my lunch just got here. Later. <laughs> Momika, I'm so proud of you. <sighs> Stay calm, Kaya. Deep breaths. You're Kivotos's finest and the future General Student Council President. Stay calm and rational. Tackle problems one at a time. What? What problem needs fixing now? You seem on edge, acting president. Oh, Chief of Finance. Just dealing with a barrage of issues on my first day, there's always a transition period. You're a sensible one, so I trust you're not here to add to my troubles. Uh, um, well, uh, so about the new executive order expenses invoice you submitted earlier. Yes, it's necessary for the new council. Please process it. Rejected. <laughs> what? On what grounds? Oh, owie. If anything, you are consistent. <laughs> Doesn't matter if it's Kaya or Rin. She is not about to roll over. <laughs> oh, Kaya. Did you think this was going to be easy for you to seize power? and have to deal with all of these officers that Rin had been very carefully working with for all this time. Oh my god. I reviewed it personally and all of the invoice entries are in Arabic numerals. It's against policy to process non-Chinese numerals to prevent fraud. 
Also, the authorization stamp is smudged, and it's difficult to read. If I can't read the name, I can't verify it. If I can't verify it, I can't approve it. Resubmit it following the correct procedures at your convenience. W wait Chief Owie. I love how this is the exact thing that Rin got upset at us about. Rin knew what to do! Rin was doing the documents correctly! Oh god. Owie, I'm swamped all the way up to my bangs right now. Couldn't you overlook this just once? I promise I'll make it up to you. No. No exceptions, no matter your position. Even Chief Officer Rin revised her mistakes herself. But... Revisions have a same-day turnaround. If it isn't corrected by today, I'll have to dismiss it entirely. Could I perhaps get an extension? <laughs> well, 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 Kaya. Well, well, well. Looks like your little authoritarian uh, position isn't going so well now, is it? You can't just force people to do what they want, what you want. Um, that that's not how this works. Just until tomorrow. Tomorrow, but not a minute later. No, oh, Owie, you shouldn't give her until tomorrow. Come on now. Seriously, did everyone just wake up and decide to be difficult today? Why can't I find any competent help? Not one single person. I can't believe my bad luck with people. Problems? Yes, uh, but all trivial. They just need to be delegated properly. It's only that incompetence somehow has the power to make a mountain of even the tiniest molehill. The Fox Squad seems to be my only subordinates who can do as they're told. Because discipline and executing orders are our job. And our weapon is useless if it can't fulfill its purpose. That kind of mindset is why I, I appreciate you. <laughs> I do have a question. When, when do you plan on reviving SRT Academy? Is that really your concern right now? Right now, we need to secure the board's trust and consolidate power. Once I control the council, I'll make you 10 new SRTs. Priorities, Yukino. Ugh. Understood. I apologize. It's okay. Remember, I'm the only one who truly understands you and your worth. Trust in me, and you'll have what you want. Following my orders is the only way for you to give your squad members and those starry-eyed underclassmen what they need the most. Understood. Acting General Council President, I have a report. At this point, nothing could surprise me anymore. Well, go on. What's the crisis this time? It's, um... The, the Director of Human Resources was attacked by her subordinates. <gasps> oh, snap! What, what did you just say? Oh, snap! A few hours earlier, outside the General Student Council building. Oh, snap. Good work, comrades. The quick dismissal of the acting president was thanks to every single one of you here. You came together as one, screaming voice, and our injustices were heard. Oh, that's quite a crowd. It's been days. They might be our alumni, but they're so dedicated to protesting it almost makes me feel bad. Did you hear how they actually refused payment? There's no need for pity. Challenging injustice and authority is the workers' way. We could protest all day, as long as it's against those in power. <laughs> I guess you never really take the red winter out of the student. So, is Chief Officer Rin really gone? Huh? That's old news. 
She couldn't take the power of our protesters' shouts. Chief Officer Rin stepped down already. God, the Director of Human Resources is just trying to stir up the crowd. Good God. Then who is the Acting General Student Council President now? Uh, Shiranui Kaya now, I think. It's <laughs> kind of confusing. But they said the old president chose her or something. Which means... Down with fake President Kaya! Down, down, fake, fake! What? What are you chanting right now? Minori! Minori! Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go! <laughs> let's go, let's go! Oh my god! Hey, we, we won already! We wanted Rin out, not Kaya! We did, but Rin stepped down. Kaya is the acting president now. She's the representative authority of all Kivotos. So that means everything in Kivotos is her fault right now. Her fault! Her fault! I, I can't even begin to follow your logic. She just became the acting president today. How could she possibly be responsible for the state of Kivotos? The leaders are accountable for their team's mistakes, so any issues arising in Kivotos should fall on the shoulders of the current acting General Student Council President, a.k.a. Shira Nui Kaya. Whether it's the absence of a three-day work week, the unexpected cold snap, or even the limit on pudding portions, Kaya has to answer for all of it. Answer Kaya! Answer Kaya! Denounce anything! Demand everything! Denounce anything! Demand everything! Hell yeah! You get that three-day work week! Oh yeah, let's go! <laughs> I'm on board! Do it! Take her down! These revolutionaries are so self-absorbed. Oh, you say that now, Director of Human Resources, but have you ever considered the benefits of a three-day work week? Have you? Look, you're done here. Get out. Comrades, she's unveiling her true colors. They can never hide their evil for long. Just like President Cherino and her motley crew. Never forget, this is why we hate bureaucrats. We won't rest until all tyrants and capitalists are gone. <laughs> no, 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 don't come closer. Let's go, Minori! so proud of you do it do the revolution stay stay back or i'll report you all to chief kaya <laughs> ha was that a threat that's how we say good morning at red winter academy let's go comrades are you prepared to fight we are ready the Red Winter Labor Party struggle begins anew! Let's go! <laughs> Minori, bless you! Bless you! Let's go! Revolution now! Overthrow them! <laughs> Hoorah! Oh my god! Yes! Yes, 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 yes! <laughs> Damn it, damn it, that was the last one. Damn it, where's my revolution? Where is it? God, that was beautiful. Okay, that gives me hope. That gives me some hope. We're okay. Maybe we're okay. Minori is here to help. Um, <laughs> Red Winter may be able to save us. Let's go. God damn it, I want more. I want more already. Oh, God, I do have to wait. God damn it. Okay, at least this wasn't as bad as the volume F cliffhangers. Good God. Good God. God damn it. God damn it. Damn it, y'all. I need some more. I need some more of this. Uh, okay. Okay, y'all. I'm happy we did it, even though we had a bit of a problem right there in the middle. Um, You know, it worked out okay. It worked out okay in the end. <laughs> oh 
Oh God, thank you all for your patience. I'm so sorry we had an issue in the middle there um, where I got booted from the system and had to uh, redo my router and everything. That was that was no good. God, also thank you all for all the gifted memberships. Y'all are damn sweet. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Um, I guess the only thing left to do is let's let's look over some of the very kind super chats from folks. Um, before we do that, a couple of like heads up on things that are coming up. Um, Christmas is right around the corner. So uh, I'm going to be having a Christmas stream that's gonna happen next week. I'm gonna be going through all of the like fun traditions all over the world, as well as some of my favorite traditions that I'm very excited to share with you all. Um, and then from there, I'm also going to have uh, th some other fun stuff next week to look forward to. It will be good. No, no, thankfully Bear uh, picked up Minori, so I'll be able to use uh, his version, but um, we're going to be rolling when uh, the swimsuit SRT girls come around. So it's going to be good. It's going to be very good. Oh, and thank you all. I'm glad that the stream was good. I'm so sorry again that we had really bad technical issues in the middle. Thank you all. Um, that was very unexpected. I was actually getting worried that maybe I'd have to like postpone the stream, but thankfully that was not the case. So, oh. <sighs> Thank God. Okay. Um, so yeah, that uh, that is good. Oh, y'all are very sweet. Yeah. So the the plan is um, this, the other thing that I am working on uh, pretty much entirely in a lot of my free time is uh, the lore archive for SRT and the beginning of volume F. Um, I have been working very hard on that. Uh, so thank you all for your patience. My plan is to get that all done. And then I do want to do a lot more ASMR. Um, there was a period of time where YouTubers were actually getting uh, had some weird issues when they were posting ASMR videos. So I was trying to hold off just in case I ended up getting hit with something too. Like even totally normal, like reasonable ones uh, were having issues. So I was a little panicked for a bit. Um, that ended up uh, making it so I uh, didn't release an ASMR video for a while, but thankfully it seems like whatever weird issues YouTube's auto system was having with flagging things, it seems like that's been resolved. So um, yeah, I should be able to post stuff <laughs> just fine. So thank you all for your patience on that while I've uh, been patiently uh, trying to wait for that to be fixed. So yeah, but that is the hope. Yeah, there was a bunch of, um, I didn't want to make you all panic about that, but I figure it's it's decent enough to talk about it now. There was a couple of uh, YouTubers I knew who were actually getting um, in a lot of trouble just for posting ASMR videos. And I was like, oh God, okay. Uh, I don't want YouTube to, to bonk me. <laughs> for posting ASMR content. So I was waiting just to see for that to get fixed and it seems like it has been resolved. So um, in fact, you might not have seen much ASMR from some content creators because of that. I think some folks were able to get away with it just fine, but yeah, it was uh, kind of like around summertime through fall this year. Um, thankfully, thankfully that seems to be resolved. So thank you all. <laughs> I appreciate it. Y'all are absolutely fantastic, so. Oh God, this story has been, uh, I've, I, I don't know. I'm a really big fan of Blue Archive's story. I'm also a really big fan of learning more about the inner workings of the General Student Council. And also, mm, I would like for Kaya to, um, and Kaiser to get punished for some of the things that have happened. They, they have created such a mess. This is absolutely horrible. Oh. So yeah, anyway, um, thank you all for your patience on that. I really appreciate it. <laughs> oh God. So yeah, anyway, um, yeah. So look forward to that. Um, I'm gonna have to figure out what I need to do with um, the next part of the story because I was kind of planning on just working on a lot of lore archive next week um, and then having the Christmas stream. So I'll see, I don't know, cause I don't wanna do like a midweek stream for the story. I still want that to be over the weekend because then as many of you as possible can come to that. So uh, I don't know, we'll figure it out. Um, if it doesn't happen next week, it'll happen the week after. Um, so look forward to that. If uh, we don't end up doing the story next week because Christmas is kind of coming up very quickly, uh, then uh, we will be streaming this the week after and then we'll do the SRT event after that. So yeah, it's, it's gonna be good. <sighs> Very, very good. But yeah, anyway, um, thank you all so much for coming and hanging out. This was very good. I'm honestly really grateful that you all were like, um, 
very kind and uh, willing to wait while I had a lot of issues. So thank you. That was very good. <laughs> and yes, Merry Early Christmas to everyone. Oh God. Yeah, that's kind of wild. I'm gonna switch us over really quick to um, a separate screen. And then I'm gonna go through the super chats because the the time is just about to <laughs> tick over. So <laughs> I can read super chats in a different area real quick. So give me one sec. Let me pause this. We'll turn this on. And then let's go over to Zatudan screen. I can read some super chats. Perfect, okay. <laughs> but yeah, thank you all so much. Um, it was, it was a little stressful right in the middle there, but I'm glad. I'm glad everything worked out and we were able to finish the story. And now I know if I ever have this problem again, that's what I need to do. I just need to like, <sighs> just restart my router, I guess. <laughs> y'all can, y'all can take dibs on the couch. <laughs> Happy holidays, everybody! Let me really quick, I'm gonna go pull up the very kind super chats that you all sent. Um, and then yeah, we'll we'll go from there. I'm gonna work on some more lore archive stuff. And yeah, it's gonna be good. <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's pull up. God, y'all are very sweet. Y'all sent some very kind super chats. Thank you. Oh my god, there's a lot of these. Okay, okay. Alright, thank you, TJ, for the super chat. I'm gonna listen to your stream while packing my suitcase. Leaving for Vietnam tomorrow? Oh my gosh! I hope you have a fantastic time! Oh, that sounds absolutely wonderful. Vietnamese food? Whew. Oh my gosh. Big fan. <laughs> I'm kind of a big fan of a lot of Southeast Asian food. It's very, very tasty. Oh god. And yeah, for um, those of you who are curious, um, the BGM that I use for like my regular chatting and like um, drawing streams and other things like that, um, I ended up purchasing it from some really cool artists from Audio Stock, and then it kind of loops from there. So yeah, I'm glad y'all like it though. It's nice. <laughs> oh, good luck, TJ. I hope you have a good time in Vietnam. That sounds really wonderful. Oh my word. Oh, and thank you. Uh, it's it's dead, but it's spelled or it's it's J E A D. I feel like I'm gonna mispronounce this. Jed, Jiad. I'll say Jed instead. Thank you, Jed, for the super chat. You always stream while I'm at work. I can't wait to watch some Blue Archive content later. Oh God, <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh my word. Well. Please enjoy the VOD. For those of you who are checking this out later, thank you so much. And I'm glad y'all were able to skip through that part um, where I had technical issues. I feel so bad for those of you who are watching this live. Thank you so much for uh, sticking around for that. That was pretty rough there for a bit. But good luck at work and thank you for the super chat. Oh my gosh, TJ, you sent a couple more super chats. Yo, Chibinoko, today you'll come to us, right? <laughs> Uh, this was when we were having the technical issues. I'm glad y'all got to hang out with Shapey Noko for a little while. That's perfect. Absolutely wonderful. <laughs> you know, I'm glad that Blue Archive brought us all together this season. That was good. <laughs> TJ, thank you. We just want to squish you, promise. <laughs> now, now, I know y'all have been trying to kidnap Shapey Noko for quite some time. But let me tell you, you're not going to get any good carbs out of Shapey Noko. No, no, no reason to think too much about that. <laughs> no reason to hunt down a larger snack lady. <laughs> anyway, thank you for the super chat. <laughs> yeah, no, Chibinoko does sleep a lot. Um, ever since we've been on the surface, Chibinoko just kind of like lives, lives a, a fantastic life. Just eating a bunch of food and sleeping all the time. <laughs> Kidnap? I would never get caught planning that. <laughs> Yeah, sure, sure, I definitely believe you. <laughs> and thank you, Alex, for the super chat. Oh my god, Alex, you sent a couple of these. I don't have a lot of time right now, so I'll just leave some super chats behind to read later. Oh my god, y'all are very kind, thank you. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Uh, another super chat from Alex to read later. Kaya's nothing more than Masayoshi Shido, Persona 5, though not nearly as evil as he was wannabe. Yeah, um, Kaya's got some, some issues. Got, got some issues if she thinks that Kaiser is a good role model. I also am starting to suspect that she 
really liked the, the like student council president because she was very powerful. Not because she was like a charismatic person or trying to be a good leader, but because power seems to be something that Kaya values a lot. So uh, yeah, that's not great. That's not good. Anyway, uh, thank you for the super chat, Alex. And thank you for another super chat. My response to Kaya's deal, total waste of my time. Amen to that. Amen to that, everyone. Completely, completely agree. <laughs> oh God, you know, Kaya, Kaya does um, seem to not think through some of this stuff. Here's the thing though, she clearly planned a lot of this. So she's, she's using whatever intelligence she's got for um, the wrong reasons. It's not good. The path of a power hungry leads to a path of ruin. Indeed, indeed, I agree. Thank you. Thank you, Alex, for all the super chats. It's very kind of you. Oh, Sjensige! Thank you for the super chat. I'm in the North American server, though. Oh, God, that was what I was... <laughs> that was when I thought that maybe it was just an issue. But y'all were... Y'all bless you all for checking just to make sure everything was okay. It turned out I just needed to reset my router, which I'm gonna be totally real. That is super weird. I don't know why that worked. I cannot begin to fathom. But anyway, it worked. <laughs> it ended up going through. So thank you all for checking that just to make sure it wasn't a server-wide issue. That just was really weird when I was trying to get connected and I couldn't even do it on my phone. So, uh, that was that was no good. Well, also, I'm so glad you all enjoyed the stream. <laughs> I'm really glad. I, I'm so, I was so worried that it was going to go down and we weren't going to be able to do it together when we were having technical issues. So I'm so, so glad that it ended up working out. Thank you all. That's very, very kind of you. Oh, my word. Thank you, Tofu, for the super chat. Yummy sushi no ko nom. <laughs> listen, listen. There's no need to think about whether or not my tail might be tasty. I, I will not confirm or deny whether or not my tail would be like um, Toru's from uh, Kobayashi's Maid. <laughs> There's no need to think about whether it would be tasty, all right? Anyway, thank you for the super chat. <laughs> no, Gabriel, thank you for the super chats. I appreciate this so much. I thought the foxes were hostile to the rabbits way back in chapter one, but no, they genuinely care about their successors. It kind of makes you sad, right? To see that the fox squad is so, so determined, thinking that they're doing the right thing here, but still having a lot of doubt about it. Thinking that really they're just weapons, that like there's no reason for them to think for themselves. It's really sad. <sighs> But yeah, no, I think this has been good just to finally see a little bit more behind the curtain and learn about the Fox Squad a little bit more. Oh, and Gabriel, thank you for, oh my God, even more super chats. Not gonna lie, I'd slap a ring on Nico's finger in a heartbeat. Man, she is like just the mom of the group. I cannot believe how good of a person she is. Oh my God. Like, it was so nice to see how genuinely caring she was. Good Lord. She did a very, very good job. And also, I really would like to know, like, she must have uh, risked quite a bit to go and actually talk to Sensei back in chapter one, passing along Inari Zushi and everything. Good God. Yeah. I don't know. Nico's cool. I'm really hoping that, like, we get to see more of her. And I'm also really hoping that, like, I don't know... Yukino seems to be like the most hellbent on what they're doing and they're trusting her and following her lead. But I think I feel like there's going to be a reckoning here. <laughs> so, yeah, thank you for the super chat. That was very sweet. Oh, and Gabriel, thank you again. Best part, Kaya is comically incompetent in power. She really is like she's over here just like thinking, ah, oh, yeah, I'll just force people to do what I want. It'll all be fine. We'll have this authoritarian utopia under my strict rule. And uh, yeah, um, not sure I'm uh, really on board with that. I'm very excited for Minori and everyone to rise up against her. That is very, very good. <laughs> Super on board with that. But that was satisfying, at least. I'm very happy that like, <sighs> Things are seeming like they might not uh, be totally catastrophically bad. 
Okay, they are catastrophically bad, but maybe we have a chance of, of fixing all this. <laughs> anyway, thank you for the super chat. Oh, thank you, QB. Thanks for the stream. No, thank you all for the stream. God, y'all are very sweet and very patient and a lot of fun to play this game with. Like, I absolutely adore playing through the story with you all. It's so much fun. It's absolutely delightful to like, get excited or um, start freaking out at certain things happening or I don't know. It's very nice to experience it together with you all. So thank you. It's very, very kind of you. <laughs> oh my word. And I think just as I've been reading this, I think some of you have sent in some more super chats. Let me go refresh this really quick. Yep, yep. Two of you sent in super chats. <laughs> Crimson Phoenix, one question I've had since I returned to the game and the hopes you could answer it. When did they remove the need to do missions for the main story and why? Also, thank you for your lore videos. You're very, very welcome. It is my pleasure. I'm so glad that y'all enjoy that. Yeah, um, I'm not sure. Um, I think based on what I've heard from you all, I think that there are still some requirements to do like a certain number of missions for story beats. But I think that what they do is that uh, at a certain point, if you've reached a high enough level, um, they just let you unlock the story. And to be honest, when the game first came out, it was, <laughs> as someone who loves the lore, it was brutal having to be told like, no, you can't access the new story. You gotta go defeat this level. And I'm like, no, give me the story now, please. So yeah, um, anyway, I'm personally all right that they have uh, phased that out a little bit, but yeah, no, it is definitely something that they have changed quite a bit. Um, <laughs> I'm very grateful that they have shifted that away because that is uh, something that was absolutely brutal having to do that early on. So yeah, very good question though. I'm not entirely sure when they phased that out. I feel like... God, did they do that during part of the Eden Treaty or was that during SRT that they did that? I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, that's a very good question. I'm very grateful they're not doing that for the new story beats. <laughs> oh, it's a very big relief. But yeah, thank you so much for the super chat and I'm so glad that y'all have been enjoying the, the lore videos. That's wonderful. And cookies, thank you for the super chat. Oh my word. Y'all are very kind. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, everyone. Thank you for the super chats. Thank you for the gifted memberships, you absolutely crazy people. <laughs> um, I hope that y'all enjoy it. Y'all are absolutely fantastic. So yeah, thank you all. <sighs> all right, well, we ended up doing pretty well, I think. That was like, are we at the four hour mark? Is that? <laughs> I, I feel like we have we have hit our um, <laughs> usual amount of streaming time, <laughs> but it ended up working out okay. So yeah, I actually think that um, we're gonna get like a ton of story in in the next week, which is great. I think that based on the announcement, it looked like they're just gonna release the rest of the SRT story. So yeah, pretty excited for that. It's gonna be good. <laughs> Oh god, I'm glad that you all enjoyed. <laughs> I had a lot of fun with the Millennium Lore video. Um, th there was a lot of mechanical voices that I got to do for that, so that was very fun. <laughs> that was very, very good. Oh god. But yeah. <laughs> Y'all are wonderful. Thank you all so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You all are absolutely fantastic. I super, super appreciate it. Oh my word. But yeah, it has been, um, yeah, it's been a lot. This, it's, <laughs> this is kind of a crazy stream, but I'm glad it worked out. <laughs> oh my God, Rogue Robin, hour four super chat, let's go. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for the super chat. Oh God. Oh my gosh. Thank you all. I'm glad. I'm glad that y'all enjoyed how I did Otis. She's, it's kind of hard to pick favorite characters in the game <coughs> besides Hifumi. Um, but I love Otis a lot. So I really wanted to make sure that I did her as much justice as I possibly could because I'm kind of obsessed with how her voice actress plays her. I think she does a very, very good job. So yeah, that makes me glad to hear. I'm definitely not biased. <laughs> where, where would you get that from? 
<sighs> Just don't check any of my shorts <laughs> listening to me sing about uh, how he for me is the best. <laughs> Exactly. Every, exactly, exactly pseudo madness. Every character is the best character. Agreed. And then of course there is our Lord and Savior, Pararo-sama, above all. <laughs> Pararo-sama reigns above all. <laughs> oh God. Okay, y'all, this was wonderful. I'm excited for when we're going to have more of this. But yeah, look forward to um, some more streams next week. And if we don't end up playing through the next part of this story because Christmas is coming up and um, I will be taking time off <laughs> like right before that, um, just for the holidays and everything coming up, um, we will play it the next week. So we won't be that far off the beat. We'll get caught up with everything. So yeah, it'll be good. <laughs> don't care what you all say. He for me is the best girl. Listen, listen. I might have been intoxicated when I sang that, but that, <laughs> listen. <laughs> oh God. Oh, I want Hifumi to get another outfit. Oh my God. Oh, that'd be wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. I've seen it. I've seen it. Other characters are getting their third variations. Maybe my girl Hifumi will end up getting hers. <laughs> that'd be wonderful. I'd also like another Aru alt. That would be fantastic. Are you sure you were intoxicated? <laughs> well, I can tell you I was uh, several drinks deep, I think, at that point. That's actually what's kind of amazing about that song is I did that completely on the fly while I was intoxicated. I'm not sure how that happened, but yeah. <laughs> Sometimes intoxication shows people's true feelings. Well, I can't deny it. Hifumi is fantastic. <laughs> yeah anyway thank you all so much for coming and hanging out this was absolutely fantastic um please look forward to some more fun stuff coming up here and thank you again for your patience on lore archive um and a bunch of other content i've been meaning to make for a while so yeah thank you i really appreciate it <sighs> it's gonna be good very very good but yeah, anyway, um, please take care of yourselves. I know it's really late for those of you in Asia and Australia, so thank you. I'm so sorry it's really late there. I'm glad some of you got some rest. Um, and yeah, it's gonna be very good. But yeah, thank you all. Oh God, y'all are very sweet. <laughs> y'all are fantastic. Thanks for hanging out with me today. It was good. I had a bunch of fun even with um, problems. <laughs> that happened in the middle <sighs> at least we know what to do now if you all ever have this problem and you can't get connected again just see if you can't restart your connection if you're on a phone too i also found that just like disconnecting from the network and using data worked but like that's really expensive so yeah oh god razor <gasps> it's three in the morning where you're at oh god i'm so sorry at least it's saturday okay that's good oh god <laughs> okay i'm glad y'all are all right <laughs> Sleep is for the weak-minded. Oh God. I'm so sorry, y'all. <laughs> I live that life. It's funny, actually. I didn't get the most sleep last night. I don't know what was wrong. I wasn't able to fall asleep for a while. So a tiny bit of the, of the flemminess at the beginning of the stream was a little bit of <laughs> still waking up voice. I'd had some uh, caffeine, so that had helped a little bit, but oh God. <laughs> God, it's so late for some of you. Oh my word. Okay, y'all, please get some sleep, get some rest. Thank you for coming and hanging out. It was very good. <laughs> my God. Anyway, y'all, thank you so much for hanging out. Y'all have an absolutely fantastic rest of your day. Look forward to the new schedule coming up soon. And yeah, we will go from there. Yeah, I was gonna say, I'm gonna end the stream so you all can go to sleep. <laughs> anyway. Bye for now, everyone. Thank you so much for hanging out. Bye. <laughs>